The rest of the Zhenyang Palace disciples saw that their ancestors had left. Without saying a word, they drove to Duanguang and chased south. The scene was quiet for a few breath. Without the interception of the great friars in Yupu realm, many friars also drove to Duanguang and went on to Tsan Ming realm. Soon, there were only a few hundred disciples who came with Duan Jian and Duan Jian Villa. Schwer, if you want to save Yi Tian, Lao Tzu doesn't object. After all, he also has the grace of saving your life. But this method is too reckless. If you don't do it well, you may die at the hands of the great monk in Yupu. Looking at the fact that everyone has gone far away, the ancestor of Duan family comes to talk to Duan Feishue. Do you know all about it? Duan Feishue, like a child who did something wrong, lowered her head gently. Even if Lao Tzu didn't know it in advance, he could guess it with a guess. What you did is so abnormal. Do you think Shin Tianfang can't guess it after thinking about it? It's just that he doesn't have any evidence, but once he's angry with you, even Lao Tzu can't always protect you. The old ancestor of the Duan family said with a straight face. When he said these words, he also had a fever on his face. He said that he couldn't protect Duan Feishue all the time. He was sticking gold to himself. Even if he was always by Duan Feishue's side, as long as Shin Tianfang, a friar in the middle of Yupu realm, wanted to fight Duan Feishue, even if he was by Duan Feishue's side, he couldn't protect him. Seeing Duan Feishue's aggrieved expression, the ancestors of Duan family can't bear to blame anymore. What's more, it's not convenient to teach Duan Feishue a lesson here. He pointed to the carriage and said, you go in and temporarily cancel the idea of letting E. Tian refine the antidote and remove the method of cutting pills. We'll talk about the antidote later. Lao Tzu, Yi Tian has given me the antidote. Duan Feishue looked up and said. Really? With a happy look on his face, the old ancestor of the Duan family said, no wonder you want to take risks for Yi Tian. It turns out that this son is also worried about your injury. If he can escape this disaster, he may be a good family. It's a pity. Lao Tzu, is there any way to save him? Listening to Duan saying, Duan Feishue didn't understand his meaning. She didn't want to think of anything else and asked in a hurry. However, Duan Lao Tzu shook his head gently, Lao Tzu has no power. There are so many great friars in Yupu, but Lao Tzu can't do anything about it. Moreover, Lao Tzu can't make any mistakes. If there is an accident, I'm afraid the end of Duanjian Villa will be miserable. Schwer, you'd better go ahead and lift the ban. More strength means more security. It shouldn't be too late. Hearing Duan Laozu's words, Duan Feishua quietly entered the carriage with a gloomy look, and even her steps became a little heavy. Look, Laozu Duan Feishua entered the carriage only ten minutes later, and suddenly returned from the carriage with a jade bottle and a jade slip in her hand. The old ancestor of the Duan family took over the jade vase and the jade slip suspiciously. He scanned the jade slip and read the contents. The great friars of Yupu realm had no longer had to stick it on their forehead to read the contents like the friars of Longmen realm and Jindan realm. After reading the jade slips, a look of ecstasy appeared on his face. Then he opened the cork of the jade bottle and looked inside. A refreshing fragrance came out of it, which shocked him. The jade slips are not named, but the ancestors of the Duan family know that Yi Tian must have left them. The message in the jade slips is just a few words, one green pill, eight grades, which can help the friars in the early stage of Yupu to break through the barriers and enter the middle stage. Two pieces of white pills, eight pieces, can consolidate the realm of friars in the middle of Yupu realm. As the message said, there is a green, two white and three pills in the jade bottle. Is it really so magical? The old ancestor of Duan family looked at the pills in his hand. A moment later, the joy on his face gradually faded away, revealing a color of hesitation. As the ancestor of the Duan family and the great friar of Yupujing, he once searched for many spiritual materials and spent a lot of money to find someone to refine the pills. Moreover, the grade of the pills was not low. It was not that he had never taken eight kinds of pills. However, he was always unable to break through the barriers in the middle period of Yupu realm, which led him not to enter in the early period of Yupu realm. Lao Tzu, I believe it is true. 
Duan Feishua saw Lao Tzu's expression and immediately said, Yi Taiyandea's supernatural power is extremely good. There are so many great monks in Yupu realm, and it's so difficult for them to take him. This is really rare among the monks in Longmen realm. What's more, it's not that he used this elixir in exchange for Shuer's adventure, but that Shuer came out on her own initiative to attract their attention. Yi Tian left when he was about to leave and left these things behind. In this case, there's absolutely no need for him to exaggerate. The old ancestor of the Duan family nodded, pondered for a moment, and said, Shuer, go to the carriage, take the pills he gave, and see if you can break the ban. What's the difficulty? Anyway, Shuer believes Yi Tian is. Duan Feishu has said A, back into the vehicle, the leaf day left pills into the mouth. This elixir was made by Yi Tian when he gave Xian Run the elixir to refine, while the three elixirs he gave to Duan's ancestors were seized from Jing's ancestors in Lan San Lingyu. I think the Jing's ancestors treasure them and are ready to take them in the future. At that time, a lot of money was seized. At this time, Yi Tian couldn't use it, and other people around him couldn't use it, so he took out three pieces and gave them to Duan's ancestors. After all, no matter what the effect of Duan Feishu's adventure is, Yi Tian is still very moved that she can do it. Yi Tian naturally won't let her give three pills for nothing. On the surface, they are for Duan's ancestors. In fact, they are also for Duan Feishue. Only when Duan's ancestors are strong can they better protect Duan Feishue. Otherwise, Duan Jin Villa will be very dangerous, just like Duan's ancestors said. After Duan Feishue entered the carriage for more than 10 minutes, suddenly the whole body of the beast car was shocked, and then the beast car sent out a wave of magic power in the golden elixir realm. Although it was not very powerful, it was far from the long men realm breath of Duan Feishue. The old ancestor of Duan's family's magic power moved, and the door of the carriage opened slowly, revealing Duan Feishue, who was sitting cross-legged inside. Lao Tzu, the method of cutting Dan has been released, and Shuer has restored her previous accomplishments. Duan Feishue stood up and said excitedly. It worked. The old ancestor of Duan family said excitedly. He took off the cork of the jade bottle, put the green eight-grade pill into his mouth, and began to refine it in situ. A moment later, his breath began to climb and become stronger. After six or seven minutes, Duan Laozu suddenly burst out more terrifying mana. The barrier in the early stage of Yupu realm was broken, and Duan Laozu really entered the middle stage of Yupu realm with this elixir. Jinner, Shuer is over to you. I'll go there and have a look. Now I have the power to fight against those old things. I hope Yi Tian's life will be bigger, but I still have time to come. After the old ancestor of Duan family said it, he disappeared from the original place. At this time, Yi Tian is exhausted. After Shen Tianfang and Taizhou Xintu of Zhenyang Palace took the fourth level golden eye to kill Yi Tian, Yi Tian knew that invisibility could no longer hide the eyes of the fourth level golden eye. Instead of using the speed of fierce swords, he used Tian Linji. No matter how fast the fierce soldier's flying sword is, it can't be faster than the two great friars of Yupu realm. And as time goes on, there are three more great friars of Yupu realm that Yi Tian doesn't know. His divine power of the heavenly wings is just like moving. Every time he uses it, he does not leave any trace of flight and escape. With this advantage, he repeatedly escaped the pursuit of the great friar of Yupu realm. Every time he performed, he chose an incredible position. It's also fortunate that the great friars of Yupu realm still need to get information from the fourth level golden eye god carving to find Yi Tian's position. If they give Yi Tian a time difference, they can always take the lead. And now, after a period of time, he has gone deep into the world of Tsongming. There is a vast sea of bones below. You can't see the sight at a glance. You don't know whether those white bones are the bones of friars, monsters or other races. Even Yi Tian is shocked by the large number of them. From the perspective of his heavenly eyes, thousands of feet underground are full of all kinds of strange bones. From the memory of soul searching, Yi Tian had a vague understanding of Tsangming Kingdom before, but when he witnessed that Tsangming Kingdom composed of numerous bones, his inner shock can be imagined. At this time, Yi Tian had no time to carefully observe the details of Tsangming Kingdom. His goal was the central area of Songning Kingdom thousands of miles away. 
With that as the center, the area emitting white light in the white bone interface was slowly spreading in all directions. The area emitting white light now has a radius of hundreds of miles. According to the current diffusion speed, Etian estimated that at most three or two days, the white light can spread to the extent of covering the Holt Sangming boundary. I hope the mysterious power there can stop the high level friars. The heavenly wings behind Yitian vibrated again, and he disappeared from his current position. When he reappeared, he went tens of miles away. Fellow Taoists, intercept separately. You can't let him enter the white light area of Tsung Ming Kingdom. This fashion in the distant Taiso Shinta saw that the fourth level golden eye statue held by Shin Tian Fang had a reaction again, and began to cry out, then frown and said aloud. In addition to Shin Tian Fang of Zhengyang Palace, there are five other great monks of Yupujing who belong to the eight sections. Taiso Shintu's words didn't arouse these people's response. They still open their minds and explore Yi Tian's trace in their own way. Maybe they have a glimmer of hope and fantasize about Yi Tian's sudden appearance. It's obvious that it's always so slow to find Yi Tian's flight path with this fourth order golden eye eagle. However, Yi Tian's hidden killing skill has reached its peak. Although those people's wishful thinking is good, they never find Yi Tian's flaws. Once twice three times Yi Tian tried his best to move to the center of Tsung Ming Kingdom again and again, avoiding the great friar of Yupu Kingdom. According to his calculation, as long as he can achieve more than ten small blinks, he can enter the range of white light. The seventh time the eighth time when Yi Tian finished his ninth small move, a hundred miles away, suddenly there was a flash of human shadow. Three great friars of Yupu Kingdom had moved in front of him. One of them is Shin Tian Fang, who is carrying a four-step golden eye statue. Yi Tian can also find information about these people in his memory. One of them is the ancestor of Bajiman, while the other is the ancestor of Li Huozong. Sure enough, they are all monks in the eight sections. Even if there are three great friars of Yupu realm intercepting in front of him, Yi Tian has no way out at this time. Maybe he has a chance to get rid of those people in the direction of Tsungming realm. Once he changes his direction, he has no chance to get rid of them. In this case, a fierce color flashed in Yi Tianyan's eyes, and the wings of the heavenly spirit flapped behind him. Unexpectedly, he was moving in the direction of the three great friars of Yupu realm. After several small blinks, the position where he left was followed by the great friar of Yupujing. Unfortunately, he was still half a beat too slow to stop Yi Tian. Seeing that there was less than a hundred miles to the three monks in Yupu realm, Yi Tian could pass between ten or ten breaths. But at this time, the three men blocked the way, and the distance became extremely dangerous. All of a sudden, Yi Tian saw that the great monk in front of the fire sect suddenly disappeared from the original place. He sank almost without thinking and fell to the ground. A round halo then enveloped his whole body. With the magical effect of stimulating the five element beads, Yi Tian continuously flapped his heavenly wings and even blinked three times in the deep of the thick bones underground. Boom! Boom! In front of him, there were several loud noises among the bones. From Yi Tian Yuan's heavenly eyes, Shen Tian Fan and the ancestors of the eight poles went deep underground to bombard the bones on the road ahead. That kind of momentum seemed to break apart. Under the terrible bombardment, the numerous white bones under the ground shot in all directions. Even if the friars in the golden elixir realm were hit by the white bones, they would have to fall on the spot. Yi Tian made a quick decision to fly from the white bones together again, and then he had to fan the wings of the heavenly spirit to leave here again and fly to the light diffusion place of Tsongming Kingdom, which was less than 200 li away. At this time, suddenly in front of dozens of miles, a figure appeared out of thin air, and then the man bent his fingers, dozens of white light flew to the location of Yi Tian. In a hurry, Yi Tian has no time to identify what the white light is, but his subconscious self-protection makes him flash and dodge. Boom! 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 Yi Tian's body shape just a movement, that dozens of white light has been shot, exploding in the sky. The overwhelming white powder fluttered down, covering the surrounding area of six or seven li, there are several white light burst in the top of Yi Tian's head. Simply to avoid those white light, Yi Tian can easily do, but all around are white powder, dense, numerous, Yi Tian want to avoid all, it is impossible to do. Unfortunately, a little white powder splashed on Yi Tian's head and body. 
Yi Tian's heart was shocked, as early as when the white powder just burst open, he had closed his breath. But Yi Tian knows nothing about the killing power of this kind of thing. Just when he wanted to deal with it, he suddenly found that his hidden killing skill was suddenly invalid. His body has been completely exposed in broad daylight, and he can't be invisible anymore when he uses hidden killing technique. It turns out that it's the powder used by the Xuanzhe family in Lant Songlingyu. Although the composition is different, it has the same effect. Yi Tian's hidden killing skill is broken. The big friar of Yupu realm, who pops up white light, hums coldly and doesn't use the big moving skill. He flies straight to Yi Tian. His speed is faster than lightning. At the same time, the great friars of Yupu in all directions found the situation here, and they all rushed towards Yi Tian's position for the first time. Even two great friars of Yupu in such a short distance also used the big move skill, a posture to capture Yi Tiancheng alive. The situation is extremely critical, Yi Tian Harda horizontal, facing in front of the flying Jade Pu realm great friar shows small move skill straight to come. When the stealth kill is effective, he uses Tai and Linji small move. The process of performing it, and after completing the small move, he is invisible. Now that the hidden kill skill is broken, he can only be invisible when performing the small move skill. Once he completes a small move skill, his body will be completely exposed to the sun. But after all, there is also a small moving process is invisible, which is Yi Tian's only card in the escape. To die. When he saw that he was performing the small moving skill towards himself, the great friar of Yupu realm gave a cold hum and made a gesture. He wanted to use his magic power to block the nearby area. At this time, suddenly a figure appeared out of thin air, and then his breath burst out, and a shockwave spread in all directions. Before the Jade Pu Realm Great Friar Langshan's work, the Yi Tian who exerts the small move skill already appears in the position of 10 miles away. Want to run? It's not that easy. The figure just appeared gave a cold hum, and a flying sword suddenly shot at Yi Tian. Mr. Duan, stay alive. At the moment when the man was flying swords, there were several monks in Yupu realm almost at the same time. Several flying swords also flew out of hand and shot to Yi Tian's position. But these swords are not to kill Yi Tian, but to intercept the first one to fly to Yi Tian. The person who issued this sword took the pills given by Yi Tian, who had already broken through the middle period of Yupu realm. His sudden move, people want to live Yi Tian, can only intercept his attack, save Yi Tian first, so, the situation suddenly has a moment of chaos. Yi Tian took advantage of this opportunity to display his heavenly wings continuously and completed two small blinks. Then, when the crowd was about to catch up with him, he finally flashed into the white light coverage of Tsongming Kingdom. Nonsense, Mr. Duan, who asked you to do it? Seeing that Yi Tian has entered the white light area, Shen Tian Fang suddenly cheers angrily. What? Shen Dao Yu, if you are only allowed to do it, can I do it? Contrary to the previous Loki, the ancestors of the Duan family began to sneer at each other for the first time. You? You broke through? Shen Tian Fan just wanted to say something more, but he suddenly felt the breath of Duan's ancestors at this time. He couldn't help but ask in a daze. What? No breakthrough? The old ancestor of the Duan family snorted coldly, and his figure flashed and disappeared from the original place. At this time, Yi Tian, who was covered by the white light, did not stop. After performing a small move of the heavenly wings once again, he went deep into the white light for tens of miles to stabilize his body and open his mind to observe around. The friars who pursued and killed their own Yupu kingdom did not enter the white light enveloped area, and they did not attack at the moment when they entered the white light. There were nine great monks in Yupujing who pursued and killed themselves. At the moment when his mind was covered, the ancestors of the Duan family had a brief conversation with Xin Tian Fang. After that, they left the place, and then the other six disappeared. There are only two great friars in Yupujing, one is Xin Tian Fang, the ancestor of Zheng Yang Palace, and the other is the one who shoots dozens of white lights at Yi Tian and breaks his secret killing skills. Yi Tian knows who this man is. He has a horse face full of hemp. His appearance is easy to recognize. He is also another ancestor of Zheng Yang Palace, named Du Tianzi. Needless to think, Yi Tian also knows where the six great friars of Yupujing went, except for the ancestors of Duan family. 
They must have intercepted themselves in all directions outside the white light, for fear that they might take this opportunity to escape. Yi Tian doesn't worry that they will enter Tsang Ming Kingdom. If they can enter, I'm afraid Shen Tian Fang and Du Tianzi won't stay in the same place. With such a guess, Yi Tian quickly opened his mind and covered thousands of miles around. Sure enough, he found the figures of the great monks in Yupu. The Gate of Earth and Earth Show Yuan Jiao's Zen Wazong's Li Huazong's Bajamans in addition, the ancestors of the two Zhenyang palaces, in addition to the monks from Qingyun sect and Taiyi sect, were present. In addition, it is the Iron Hand Immortal II and the ancestor of the Duan family. Iron Hand Immortal II naturally wants to deal with himself, but when Yi Tian Shenian, the father of the Duan family, finds out this man, he can't help but smile. Before, in the crisis, thanks to this man's hand, he saved himself. This is also his elixir. It's really a gift of roses. I didn't expect to borrow it so soon. As for the means he used to attack himself, Yi Tian also fully understands that he believes that Duan's ancestors have a sense of propriety. After all, he also needs some illusions to protect himself. Of the nine, eight enemies and one friend. Yi Tian secretly recorded the identity of those people in his heart, and fled to the depths of Tsangming world. Outside the white light of Sunming, Shen Tian Fan and Du Tianzi stood side by side, healing Yi Tian in the white light with the same gloomy face. Elder Marshal Brother Shen, it took me a lot of money to get this kind of medicine powder for breaking the hermit. I didn't expect that it was delayed by Mr. Duan. We can't make wedding clothes for people like this. Du Tianzi finally couldn't help it and said to Shen Tian Fan. Well, I can't imagine that Duan Leigui can break through to the middle of Yupu realm. It's a wonder in the world. I can't think about it. What's the matter? Before that, Ming Ming was still in his early cultivation, and he broke through so quickly? Shen Tianfang murmured a few words in his mouth. Then he realized that he was a bit impolite. He changed the topic and asked, how long can this powder last? This kind of powder is called Xianqing powder. It was originally refined from Baihua Valley and used to deal with invisible rhinoceros. This kind of medicine powder is also effective for monks. As long as this powder is applied to people, it will not lose its efficacy in three or four months. In terms of time, you don't have to worry too much. If you want to get rid of the effect of this powder, you can't get rid of it unless you cut off the meat stained with the powder at that time. Otherwise, later on, there is absolutely no possibility of it. I see that Yi Tian's face, head, and even hands are stained with this kind of powder, so it's impossible for him to perform the art of invisibility anymore. Du Tianzi said confidently. Shen Tianfang nodded slightly and said, in this case, send all the core disciples of Jin Dan realm to come here. It will take a lot of time for Tsang Ming realm to close down. We can't just wait outside and let them enter Tsang Ming realm to arrest Yi Tian. Don't let other sects take the lead. There are many secrets about this man. Whoever can catch this man will stand out among the eight sections. The secret of invisibility alone is enough to make all the great friars in Yupu realm crazy. What's more, the wings on his body, which is similar to the power of short distance blinking, can make a monk and long men pass the joint encirclement of us. Its value can be imagined. Other sects will certainly be envious, such magic power, by which sects get, will be strength by leaps and bounds. What's more, it may be of great use to the friars in Yupu realm, such as me. Du Tian said with a little worry, it's nothing to send all the core Jin Dan disciples of the sect, but there are more than 500 core disciples. Our entry order is limited. Do we want to break the rules jointly formulated by the eight sects? Well, now that we can make rules, we can rewrite them. Don't worry. I'll deal with the rest. Shen Tianfang snorted coldly, and the domineering air suddenly appeared on his face. But there are a lot of difficult spirit insects in this man. The realm of those spirit insects is only about four levels. They can be driven in the Tsangming world. I'm afraid they will become the strong enemies of our disciples. Du Tianzi hesitated. Shen Tianfang pondered, I've thought about this. This time, whether it's the opening of Tsangming Kingdom or the boy surnamed Ji, we are bound to win. Those spirit insects and beasts that had been cultivated for hundreds of years by the clan, who chose the fourth-level realm, 
were all brought into the Tsungming realm. It's a certainty, but it's an important card in Zongmen's plan to turn the world upside down. Isn't it too early to expose it now? Du Tianzi asked hesitantly. As for Du Tianzi's question, Shen Tianfang waved his hand and said, the plan to turn the sky is just for our palace to dominate the spiritual realm in the future, but now the ready-made opportunity is just around the corner. Why not sacrifice the near and seek the far? This time, all those who can be rationed by the sect will be rationed to the disciples who enter the Tsungming kingdom. If we can take this opportunity to kill the elites of other sects, it will be better. Now that Elder Marshal Brother Shin has decided, I'll go back and get ready. Elder Marshal Brother should be on guard. Don't let that ye slip away secretly. Du Tianzi said. Shin Tianfang visited Sangming World in the dim white light, as long as your medicine powder can make the sun can't perform the occult skill, he can't run away. You can arrange it now. It's better to start first. Du Tianzi no longer nonsense, promised, has disappeared from the original place. The conversation between them all uses the divine idea to transmit sound. Yi Tian, who is far away from them, naturally doesn't know what they are talking about. At this time, he is sitting on a pile of white bones with his knees crossed, carefully checking the powder in his body. Surprised, Yi Tian frowns slightly. Yi Tian not only understands the principle of the powder, but also guesses the prescription. Stealth is achieved by suppressing the fluctuation of its own mana through the operation of its mana. Once the powder is touched on the skin, it can quickly penetrate into the body through the skin. The power it emits just blocks the operation of its mana. Moreover, Windescape can't hide its body in this case. In fact, it's not difficult to break this powder. With Yi Tian's Dan Dao attainments, you only need to refine a pill called Bai Mai Lingtong pill to dredge the meridians and eliminate the influence of this powder. However, in order to make this kind of pill, we need to use a kind of spirit material named Long Mako, which is more than 300 years old. Yi Tian carefully recalled all the spirit materials in his magic weapon cave, but there was no such spirit material. Kneeling for a moment, Yi Tian stands up and looks a little ugly. If you can't recover the hidden killing skill, you will lose one of your cards in the Tsongming world, and the danger you will face will be greatly increased. But fortunately, this kind of powder in addition to breaking their own hermit, on their own body and combat effectiveness play no hindrance. Moreover, he has seen that the efficacy of this kind of powder can only last for three or four months. Once the time limit is over, this kind of powder can no longer break its own hidden killing technique. Although three or four months seems to be a long time, it will take two or three months for Tsongming Kingdom to open and close. As long as you enter the space-time tower, you will greatly speed up the speed of cracking the effectiveness of the powder. In this case, in the absence of Long Mai Grass, Yi Tian simply no longer cares about the powder on his body. He took out a pill from Zumaji and sent it to his mouth with a flick of his finger. At present, the Tsongming world is just in operation, but no Tsongming orders are found to erupt under the cover of the Divine Thoughts. At this time, nearly 100 monks who have entered the range of the white light are looking for places to meditate with their knees crossed, ready to adjust their own state to the best degree. Some monks are alone, which is rare. Most of them are in groups of three or five. There are also dozens of people gathered together. Yi Tian even saw those Li Huozong disciples who had entered Sangming Kingdom through the blockade line. Of course, the monks were also meditating on the ground with their knees crossed, as if they were doing their best. But Yi Tian keenly felt that some monks were giving out their thoughts and observing themselves secretly, but no one was doing anything. Even though the Tsangning kingdom was in operation, it could not be isolated from the coverage of the divine thoughts. Outside the Tsangning kingdom, the monks who pursued and killed their own Yupu kingdom basically covered all the eight sections. Yi Tian believed that the eight sects would know this. Moreover, it is very likely that some of them have received the message from their respective clans, and they have not made any action for the time being. There must be another reason. Most likely, they are short of strength temporarily, so they did not act rashly. After guessing for a moment, Yi Tian releases six four-star Lianxin worms, and then releases two fourth-order shadowless snakes. After doing the necessary precautions, Yi Tian moves, takes out the space-time tower, zooms in and walks in. Now the situation is quite special. 
I want to practice first, so as to deal with the danger outside. You also continue to practice. Seeing Yi Tian coming in, Qin Luoshan and Er stand up excitedly and greet them. Yi Tian waves his hand to them and explains a few words. Then they sit cross knee and close their eyes. Seeing Yi Tian's situation, Qin Luoshan and Er guessed that the danger outside had reached a certain degree, otherwise Yi Tian would not even say a few words. Each of them made a silent gesture to each other, then sat back to their original place and continued to practice. Now the cultivation of Qin Luo God has gone from the early stage to the middle stage, and is about to break through the later stage. And Er's realm has come to the late stage of sea view. On the surface, Er's realm is still higher, but in fact, the gap between Qin Luoshan and her has gradually narrowed. After all, Qin Luo's cultivation was too late, but his entry speed was faster than Er's. They both want to get into the country as soon as possible and help Yi Tian as soon as possible. However, cultivation is not achieved overnight. Everything has a process. They are anxious, but they can only practice step by step. At present, although I really want to say a few words with Yi Tian, I can only resist seeing Yi Tian's situation. Little by little, I don't know how long later, Yi Tian in cultivation suddenly has a white light flashing on his body, and his own breath is slowly rising. At a certain moment, there was a dull sound in his dantian, just like a dull thunder. Immediately, the body's momentum burst out, the clothes were windless, and the whole body swelled. Yi Tian has broken through. Brother Yi Tian has broken through. Qi Luoshan and Er, who have experienced many breakthroughs in the realm, open their eyes at the same time and exclaim in surprise. They each throw a pair of beautiful eyes at Yi Tian. However, Yi Tian's eyes are still closed, his face is calm, and he is working meticulously, consolidating the peak state of Longmen. After a period of cultivation, Yi Tian's foundation has been very solid, and there is a faint sign of breaking through the late Longmen realm. After this period of cultivation, with the help of the terrible power of the pill, he finally succeeded in breaking through the realm at one stroke. Although it's just reaching the peak of Longmen realm, the huge medicinal power in the body is still rushing to the Dantian. If you can fully refine these medicinal powers, Yi Tian believes that the peak of Longmen realm will be stabilized in a short time. Therefore, at this critical point, he did not dare to waste any time. In this case, Xin Luoshin and Yi Er did not dare to disturb. They just looked at Yi Tian quietly and did not continue to practice. At the time of Yi Tian's cultivation, the white light of Tsangning Kingdom was always expanding to the outside, and now it has covered 7 out of 10, and it has become very lively outside the coverage of the white light. Xin Daoyu, what do you mean? Du Tianza, who returned from Zhangyang Palace to Tsangming, released a magic weapon cave, from which more than 500 disciples from Zhangyang Palace came out. Under the command of Shen Tianfang, he was about to rush into Tsangming. Suddenly, the old ancestor of Li Huozong, who was involved in the pursuit of Yi Tian, appeared and asked. He Dao Yu, naturally, has entered the realm of Tsangming. Dao Yu don't think that Yi Tian is in it. Are the numbers that we determined already useless? I'm not sure I'll be caught by Yi Tian. My Zhangyang Palace is willing to be brave this time, to get in more people, and to protect the disciples of the Eight Sex Alliance. Does he Dao Yu think there's something wrong? Shin Tian said with awe-inspiring righteousness, if you don't know the inside story, you will really feel how noble the original intention of Zhangyang Palace is. Hearing this, He Chung Gang, the evil-looking ancestor of Li Huozong, said with a smile, In that case, when you robbed Sang Ming's order, won't you Zhenyang Palace take advantage of it? Shen Tianfang snorted coldly, When things change, you can only obey the power. This matter is fair to the eight sections. Of course, if Li Huozong wants to send in many people, Zhenyang Palace will never interfere. Even if I do my best, I will not say no hearing the speech, He Chunggang nodded slowly, in this case, Li Huozong will follow Shin Daoyo's advice. As soon as he finished, He Chenggang made a gesture, and a beautiful magic weapon cave appeared in his hand. He threw it and slowly enlarged it in the air. When the enlargement stopped, the magic cave, which was smaller than fist, had become a real cave with a total area of 67 mu. All out of the house. Under the eyes of all the people, including Shen Tianfang, who were stunned on the spot, with He Qinggang's deep cheers, we saw a series of figures coming out of the magic cave and floating in front of the gate of the cave. 
The shadows were so numerous that they kept coming out of the cave. It took hundreds of minutes for the disciples of Lihuozong to come out of the cave. All the disciples of Jindan realm want to enter Tsangming realm? Looking at the more than 2,200 Lihuozong disciples, Shen Tianfang has a strange expression on his face. Among these disciples, there are all the disciples in the small realm of Jindan realm, and even many in the early stage of Jindan realm. Yes, since Shindaoyu said that before, even if all the disciples of Lihuozong entered Tsangming kingdom, Shindaoyu would not say the first half of no. Then, I'll take this Tsangming world as an experience of Lihuozong's disciples. Does Shindaoyu think it's wrong? He Chenggang, the ancestor of Lihuozong, said with a laugh. Shin Tianfang's eyes narrowed, and then he began to smile, he doubt you as it will, but I'm afraid the entrance in the early stage of Jindan realm is more dangerous than good? When Sangming kingdom was opened last time, as long as Tsangming order started to erupt, all the monks who went in to fight for the entrance card could not leave Tsangming kingdom until Tsangming kingdom was closed. It's going to take two or three months. He Dao Yu is really relieved? Ha ha, Shin Dao Yu, don't talk to me. Zhangyang Palace has so many disciples in it. I don't believe Shin Dao Yu hasn't made any arrangements. As for the arrangement of Li Huozong, I will not tell you. But one thing, I hope you can explain to our disciples. It's better not to have any friction with our disciples. Otherwise, we can't do anything outside. He Chenggang took a look at Shen Tianfang and said something enigmatic. Is he Dao Yu threatening me? Shen Tianfang asked with an eyebrow. It's just harsh advice. He Chenggang suddenly put away his smile and said without expression. Then he waved and said, my disciples have entered the Tsangming kingdom. With his order, more than a thousand monks in front of the cave set up Duan Wang one after another and flew to the white light in Tsangming. He Chenggang glanced at Shen Tianfang as his disciples entered the white light range. His figure disappeared from the original place. Shen Tianfang stares at the back of those disciples of Li Huozong, ponders for a moment, and says a few words to a disciple who has reached the half-step Yuanying realm and is about to gather Yuanying. Then with a wave of his hand, the disciples of Jindan realm brought by Du Tianza also set up to escape light and flight at Sunming realm. Mr. Shen, I don't know what the eight sects mean? You have jointly issued an entry order to increase the number of people in your clan. Why don't you act according to your rules? Isn't that a slap in the face? At this time, an old man with white beard and white hair suddenly appeared out of thin air. Shin Tianfang glanced at the man and said with a smile, Lang Dao Yu, you know, because of Yi Tian's affair, there was some friction between Qing Yin Zong and Tai, and Sang Ming's affair might be destroyed by Yi. As one of the eight sects, we have to bear some responsibilities, so we need to send more people to eradicate Yi Tian. If Lang Dao Yu thinks that we're taking advantage of this, you iron sword men don't have to stick to the quota. Just as they did a thousand years ago, you can send as many people as you can. The white-bearded and white-haired old man, who is called Cold Taoist Friend by Shen Tianfang, is the only ancestor of Yupujing and Tijianmen. The Iron Sword sect is not among the eight sects, but it is one of the twenty-seven great friars who have Jade Jade territory. This time when the Tsangming realm was opened, the experience of Tijianmen was the same as that of Duanjin Villa. Only eight places were taken away by Zhu Yuanjio, and only three places were left in Tijianmen. But now when Shen Tianfang said that he had let go of the quota, the cold old monster began to ponder. Ha ha! Cold old monster, you can make your own decision. Excuse me. Looking at the indecisive appearance of the old ancestor of the Iron Sword Gate, Shen Tianfang laughs and disappears from here with the figure of Du Tianza. After counting breath, cold old strange bite teeth also cast big move skill to leave here. When he reappeared, he had already reached a place thousands of miles away, where Duan's ancestors in Duanjian Villa were looking thoughtfully at the direction of Tsangming Kingdom. Duan Dao Yu, you must have known about the eight sections. They let go of the quota and no longer check the entrance order. Everyone can enter the Tsangming Kingdom to fight for the Tsangming Order. What do Duan Dao Yu think of this? The cold old monster of the Iron Sword Gate said to the ancestor of Duan family. Ha, since you find me here, you must have some ideas? We usually have a good friendship. This time we should watch and help each other. Let's just say what we have to say. 
Looking at Lung Leigwei, the ancestor of Duan family arched his hand and said with a smile. Cold Old Strange slightly nods, uses the divine idea to transmit the sound wave, section Taoist friend, since my meaning has such opportunity, enters that Sungming boundary not to be restricted by the boundary card, we may as far as possible send some manpower. But our strength is no better than that of the eight sections. But just taking this opportunity, our two families will form an alliance, and our strength will turn over? Hearing the speech, the old ancestor of Duan family pondered, although the idea of Lang Dao Yu is good, even if the two leagues are not strong enough, if any two of the eight leagues form an alliance, the more disciples we send, the greater the risk. For any sect, although the level of Jindanjing disciples is not high, it is the foundation of the sect. We can't afford to lose it. Hearing Duan's words, Lang nodded, it's better that you and I both have good families. It's better that you and I unite to form an alliance. What does Duan Daoyu think of the alliance, where all the disciples advance and retreat together, and what they get from Tsangming Kingdom is distributed according to the number of people sent and their contributions certainly, but the number of alliances is not limited to four. If we can unite more forces, it will be of great benefit. And through this opportunity, we lose sand can really form a group. Otherwise, under the power of the eight sex, we are always in a passive situation. The ancestor of Duan family nodded slightly. Well, let's go our own way. With that, the cold old monster of the Iron Sword Gate once again bows his hand to the ancestors of the Duan family and leaves here. The old ancestor of Duan family said a few words to Duan Jian, and then let go of his mind. When he saw a group of monks thousands of miles away, he disappeared from the original place. In the Tsangming world, in the time and space tower, Yi Tian, who is doing his best to consolidate the medicine, suddenly opens his eyes and stands up. Yi Tian, be careful. Brother Yi Tian, remember to save your life. Don't let Sister Luo Shen and I become widows. With a flash of cold light in Yi Tian's eyes, Qi Luo, who always pays attention to Yi Tian, knows that something must have happened outside, and immediately stands up and tells him. Yi Sun is also a few steps to walk past, pull to pull the sleeve of Leaf Day to say in a low voice. Well, I'll be careful. You can practice well. Yi Tian nodded helplessly. He didn't know how to deal with Yi Air's expression. After admonishing, Yi Tian quickly steps out of the time and space tower, and puts away Qin Luo God and Ear, who have dim eyes, together with the time and space tower. All around, hundreds of miles around, six Liangxingkong have been performing the task of investigation dutifully. Two Fourth Order Shadowless Snakes are lurking around the space-time tower in case of any emergency. In the white light of Tsangming Kingdom, Yi Tian doesn't worry about the presence of monks above the Golden Elixir Realm. However, Yi Tian doesn't care about the monks above the Golden Elixir Realm. The two shadowless snakes, which have reached the fourth peak and mutated after taking pills, are enough to play an early warning role. Before, he had seen a large number of friars enter the Tsangming realm covered by white light through the view of Liangxingkong. The number of friars has far exceeded the total number of expected places, and there are still friars coming in from different directions. Some of these monks who came into Tsangming kingdom were meeting with those who came in before, and they seemed to be talking about something. Some are looking for a place, adjusting the state, and no friars have obvious signs of approaching their side. It seems that everyone knows their own existence, but here has become a forbidden area in general. Yi Tian was concentrating on consolidating the state he had just broken through. Since other people didn't offend him, he just used the time tower to consolidate his cultivation. Each other is well water and river water. However, just now, through the view of Liangxingkong, he saw that a group of five or six hundred monks had risen from the position three or four hundred miles away from him, and quickly flew towards him. Eight sex, right? Your ancestors chased me everywhere. I told you to die here today. Yi Tian's heart is cruel, and his eyes are full of Senhen's killing intention. However, Yi Tian did not act immediately. He opened his mind and observed the Tsangming world around him. The white light in Tsangming kingdom is still spreading in all directions. There is a short distance to cover the whole area of Tsangming kingdom. Through the memory of soul searching, he vaguely knows some sayings that if the white light covers the whole white bone area, unless the boundary of Tsangming is closed, the friars outside can enter it, and the friars inside can no longer leave this area. Yi Tian will never let go of those who want to attack him, 
whether they are the eight sex or the other forces. The left and right forces want to capture themselves. It doesn't matter whether they kill or not, whether they kill more or less. It's obvious that there are many other forces among the monks who enter the Tsongming world. Yi Tian doesn't know what their intention is for the time being. He also needs to distinguish them so that he can be successful. However, it is impossible to know those people's thoughts through divine thoughts without experiencing some temptation. Thinking about this, Yi Tian released an ordinary magic sword and stepped on it to escape in the distance. Before the white light covered all the white bone area, he didn't want to fight with anyone so as not to disturb other people and let them escape from Tsungning kingdom in advance. His speed was not fast or slow, just keeping the same speed as the five or six hundred monks who came here, keeping hundreds of miles away from each other. He had already recognized them through the uniform clothes they wore. They were all monks of Zheng Yang Palace. Let's be arrogant for a while. In the flight, Yi Tian's lips flashed a cold smile and flew straight ahead. The direction he flew was straight. No matter how many friars there were in front, which forces were, and what attitude those forces would take towards themselves. In the rear, five or six hundred disciples of Zheng Yang Palace began to disperse in pursuit, forming a long semicircular arc and encircling it. They are very clear that Yi Tian can't always fly forward. If someone intercepts him in front of him, he will definitely change his direction. Even if no one intercepts, after flying to a certain distance, he will arrive at the edge of Tsongming world shrouded by white light. He certainly does not dare to fly out of the white light, and will naturally turn back at that time. Yi Tian naturally guessed their mind, still indifferent to fly forward leisurely in the Tsongming world full of bones. At a certain moment, he suddenly put away the flying sword and released Dun Tianzuo. His body flashed into it. A magic power hit it, turned the direction and flew quickly to the other side. About a hundred miles ahead, another group of monks rose from the white bones and flew towards themselves. Li Huozong? When he escapes from Tianzua, the cold light in Yi Tian's eyes flashes away. He still avoids the direct conflict with the other party. This time, he chose another group of friars with more than 200 people, only 300 li away from himself. Dun Tiansua's speed was not urgent, and he flew straight to those people. Under the cover of divine thoughts, he saw that these people's clothes were a bit messy, which should belong to the three forces. Although these people gathered together, there was still a certain distance between different camps, which did not seem to be fully integrated. Although he didn't let go of Dun Tiansua's full speed, the distance of more than 300 li soon arrived. The more than 200 monks first stood on the spot and didn't have any obvious intention. When they saw that Yi Tian was about to fly close, they didn't change their direction. They began to give way to others. It seemed that they wanted to show their general position and give up enough safe distance. Then, the others dodged to both sides and didn't mean to move. Yi Tian is not moved by the scene in front of him. He calmly continues to control Dun Tianzua and flies in the given direction. He wants to try what the other party's plan is. However, with his constant approach, those friars continued to give way to both sides, fearing Yi Tian's hand, and flew a long distance. Until Yi Tian passed this area smoothly, no one from the other side took the hand, and no one had any communication with Yi Tian. They just watched Yi Tian fly close and away silently. From now on, these people cannot die. Yi Tian has already made a judgment for them in his heart. The three forces all have their own uniform clothes. Yi Tian has completely remembered them at a glance. However, the present does not mean forever, Yi Tian still has to continue to observe. After another hundred li's flight, a large group of friars came face to face. The width of the group alone was three or four li long. It's still Li Huozong. Yi Tianzhou had already observed that Li Huozong had the largest number of people entering the Tsongming kingdom this time. Only when they entered the Tsongming kingdom, they were divided into three groups, showing a balance between them, and they could quickly support each other at any time. A team of more than 2,000 people is really a fat sheep. Yi Tian licks his lips. His mind sweeps the other party's three friars and turns Dun Tiansua to let him go. Regardless of many pursuers behind him, he begins to speed up Dun Tiansua's speed and return along the road. When passing by the previous group of monks who dodged, 
the more than 200 monks who had gathered together again were all avoiding in the same direction. It was obvious that Fang Yi Tian had gone by. In Dung Tianshua, Yi Tianchao's friars arched their hands, and the white light flashed past. But his Dun Tianshua just flew out of this area, changed his direction again, and flew to another group of about a thousand people. He had already seen the existence of these friars. Although there were many of them, they never made any action. From each other's clothes, Yi Tian can recognize that more than 300 of them are disciples of Duanjian Villa. Once upon a time, the ancestors of the Duan family helped themselves by seemingly attacking themselves. Yi Tian was originally a great friar of Yupujing, so he could tell the true from the false. However, he has always been cautious, he still wants to try. At the time of Fangsuan's spiritual realm, the same eight great friars besieged themselves in Ning Yao. They usually had good friendship with those great friars, at least they didn't have any grudges. But because of interests, they could test human nature best in front of interests. And the result is very cruel. It was so painful and unexpected. Yi Dao Yu, we are disciples of Duanjin Villa. We protect Dao Yu under the orders of our ancestors. But because of the situation, we can't help now. If it's critical, we won't stand by. When Yi Tian is about to arrive at the camp of those monks, the monks of Duanjin Villa first give way to one side. Almost at the same time, Yi Tian's ears hear the voice of divine thoughts. Looking at a white-faced middle-aged monk among the disciples of Duanjian Mountain Villa, Yi Tian gives a glance at the monks of the other three camps. The three groups avoided for a distance, and then stopped to watch Yi Tian go. Just before, outside Saingming, many great monks of Yupu Kingdom personally arrested Yi Tian, but they all failed. Although Yi Tian successfully escaped through the hidden killing technique and was able to enter the natural protection area, these people are also very well informed. They know that Yi Tian's means are very powerful, and there are thousands of terrible spirit insects. Once upon a time, some monks of Yuanyangjing also fell into this man's hands. The number of thousands of them was revealed when Yi Tian killed the friars of Lihuozong Jindanjing in Mengen City and saved eight barbarians. As for the scene of killing the monks in Yuanyangjing, no one has seen Yi Tian release all the calamitous. Otherwise, Yi Tian's terror level will rise sharply in people's hearts. Younger martial brother do, you have to work hard, then return to the sect and bring more disciples of Jindan realm. The one surname Ji has this kind of flying magic weapon, and the number of other clans is more than ours. I'm afraid they can draw water from bamboo baskets if they have fewer people. Outside the boundary of Tsangming, Shin Tianfang frowned and said to Du Tianza. Du Tianza was silent for a moment before he said, Elder Marshal brother, is this too risky? If these disciples in the later and even the peak of Jindan realm can't capture Yi, no matter how many early and middle stage disciples go in, I'm afraid they can't do anything about it. Moreover, there is no risk in it. Once all the disciples have an accident, we can't go in and rescue them. In that case, the Zhengyang Palace disciples will have a fault, and there will be great hidden danger in the future. Don't worry about so many. The disciples of Li Huozong can go in, but the disciples of Zhengyang Palace can't? It's safe for you to bring people first. As for whether you will go in or not, we'll decide according to the situation. Moreover, this time we can't have any reservation. When we come back, we should bring the holy fire, so that we can be sure. In front of the holy fire, Yi Tian's spirit is not a fart. Hearing Du Tianzi's different opinions, Shen Tianfang frowned and said very displeased. But, in case the flame is lost. Before Du Tianzi finished, Shen Tianfang rudely interrupted him, nothing, but just do as I say. One thing you may not know is why Yi Leigui of Duanjian Villa suddenly moved from the early stage of Yupu realm to the middle stage of Yupu realm. It is probably related to Yi Tian. He has a lot of secrets, and these secrets are enough for us to use any card, including the holy fire and the life of the sect disciples? Du Tianzi looks sideways at Xin Tianfang. It can be seen that he still has some disagreements with Xin Tianfang's decision. You are wrong, younger martial brother Du although there is a great secret hidden in Yi, it doesn't mean how powerful he is. His greatest reliance should be on the hidden killing technique and the spirit insect. You have broken the hidden killing skill. The holy fire of spirit insect can be restrained. 
As the saying goes, stones from other mountains can be used to attack Jade. Yi Tian is probably not a monk in the wild spiritual realm. If he is a local monk, it is impossible that all forces do not know him. Therefore, the secret of him must be solved. Shen Tian Fang said to do Tianza mysteriously again. All right. Now that Elder Marshal Brother Shen has decided, I'm going back to the sect. I hope it's not a wrong decision. After all, there are so many monks in it, there should be more than 10,000 people. Once there is chaos, we can't help it. When Du Tianza finished, he took a look at Shen Tian Fang and saw that the elder martial brother, who had always been strong, had not heard his words, so he disappeared from the original place. Joke, how can it be a wrong decision? After Du Tianza left, Shen Tian Fang felt the scene of more than a thousand friars of Qing Yun sect flying into that Sunming world thousands of miles away. It is said that time is a very magical thing, it can test everything, but also indifferent to everything. As Yi Tian constantly evades the eight sects in the Tsunming world and encounters with various friars intentionally or unintentionally, it really makes Yi Tian find out who is not kind to him. But the murdering opportunity in his eyes is not indifferent because of the passage of time, on the contrary, it is more intense and fiery. The speed of Dun Tian Sua is faster and faster, and there are more and more monks in Tsunming kingdom. Many monks are like the bee colony in the sky. With the change of Yi Tian's flight direction, they are closely chasing and never giving up. Yi Tian, who deliberately creates this situation, seems very lonely and helpless on the surface, but no one knows that the killing intention in his eyes is gathering a little bit, and may break out at any time. And when he paid attention to the performance of the monks in the Tsungming world, he also put it on the spreading white light. At a certain moment, when the white light finally spread to cover the whole Tsangming world, there was a huge noise between heaven and earth, as if the heaven and earth had shaken for a moment, and the white bones on the ground seemed to vibrate for a moment. Then everything was calm, and the spreading white light also stopped. Everything is fixed. At this time, Yi Tian's mind moved. A four-star heartworm, who had been following the spread of the white light, suddenly fluttered its wings and flew out of the white light. When it was about to fly out of the white light, the fourth-order heartworm suddenly hit a transparent wall. Instead of flying out of the white light coverage, it was bounced back by the canopy. Yes, there is a field. Sensing this scene, Yi Tian has his own guess in his heart. The door is closed. It's time to beat the dog. At this moment, his momentum burst out, and the fierce sword suddenly appeared in his hand, and he urged Dun Tiansua to meet the monk who was always chasing him. Dun Tiansua speeded up suddenly. Under the full pressure, he could catch up with the half-step magic weapon of the monk Dun Speed. He was driven up by Yi Tian and flew towards the five or six hundred people with the sound of wind and thunder. The light flashed to them. Seeing that Yi Tian came to the door on his own initiative, the friars of Zhengyang Palace let out a cry. In a moment, many magic weapons flew out of the crowd and attacked Yi Tian's Dun Tiansuo. Among them, some monks sent out spirit insects, spirit beasts, about hundreds of all kinds of fourth-order monsters, and thousands of strange-shaped insects to escape from Tiansuo. There are also spirit insects and monsters? Yi Tian smiles. He didn't pay attention to the spirits, insects, and beasts. He ran away from the forbidden system of Tiansuo. He didn't worry about the magic weapon. He ran straight into the opposite crowd. As long as you kill the masters of the spirit insects and monsters, these insects and monsters will naturally become ownerless. How many people used to have such an idea to kill Yi Tianpa and Taixian ants? Now it's Yi Tian's turn to use this method. The speed of Dun Tiansua made many magic weapons come to nothing. A few magic weapons that hit Dun Tiansua were just like hitting an iron wall, and they were bounced back with a bang. The spirit insects and spirit beasts are made of flesh and blood. They can't escape from Tiansua at all. Occasionally, they are hit by Tiansua and fly with one shot. Dun Tiansua, who can withstand the attack of the monks in the alchemy realm, naturally has no damage in the attack of the monks in the golden elixir realm and the impact of monsters. On the contrary, Dun Tiansua, who was extremely fast, directly flew seven or eight people when he hit the friars. Bang! Bang! Unable to dodge, several figures made a dull impact sound and flew backward, like a ragbag, flying around in the air. 
The crowd suddenly dispersed, and five or six hundred Zhenyang Palace disciples looked at Dun Tianshua, who was flying by with a look of fear in their eyes. This is the first time that Dun Tianshua broke out at such speed, and it is also the first time that they directly confronted Dun Tianshua at full speed. At this time, they knew what kind of existence was the magic weapon of flying that they had chased for a long time. When the look of fear in their eyes had not dissipated, Dun Tianshua, who was flying by, suddenly made a gorgeous turn in the air, and then continued to rush into the scattered crowd. Even though he knew the horror of Dun Tianshua, some of the shocked monks of Zhenyang Palace still didn't escape the collision. Once again, seven or eight people were hit and flew by the shuttle. Scatter. Separate to avoid. In the crowd, someone suddenly gave a drink. In an instant, these friars were like a group of flies nibbling on carrion. They were frightened and flew around. Come on. Let's have a taste of being chased. Dun Tiansua's defense shield suddenly closed, and Yi Tian's hair and clothes were blown by the hunting in the new wind. With a cool look, he bent his fingers and yelled, Go and kill the fierce flying sword and his hand turned into a sword light. Under the control of the soul of Xianlong sword, the cold light flashed to the nearest friar of Zhenyang Palace. The light suddenly went away, and a cloud of blood splashed. The monk's body flew several feet away. Then his body suddenly turned into two parts and fell down. In this instant, the fierce soldier's flying sword killed seven people in succession. All of them were killed in one chop, and they didn't stay for half a minute. He specially selected the friars with the spirit beast ring on their hands to kill them first. Instead of carrying the spirit insects and monsters, the disciples of Zhang Yang Palace had a better chance to escape. Seeing this situation, the souls of the remaining monks in Zhang Yang Palace were all in danger. No one worried about the situation of the same family anymore. They all urged their flying swords to flee. Yi Tian's eyes are cold, like a murderer. He looks at the fierce soldiers' flying swords to kill those friars without any pity. He was in charge of Dun Tianshua. He started to clean the battlefield with gestures. The captured resources must be put into his own pocket and can't be left to any friars. One magic weapon after another, one shumi ring after another, was summoned by him and put away directly. There are seven spirit beast rings in his hands, and Yi Tian focuses on them. In his eyes, there were only three Zhang Yang Palace disciples who released monsters. Now there are seven spirit beast rings. I'm afraid there will be monsters that have not been released. According to the investigation, there are three spirit beast rings with monsters, about 600 or 700 in total. In one spirit beast ring, there is a kind of scorpion spirit insect, and the number is also 500 or 600. After checking, Yi Tian put away the four spirit beast rings. For the time being, he can't use them, but they will be useful eventually. After finishing all this, Yi Tian takes a look at the wandering spirit insects and monsters, drives Dun Tianshua and chases Zheng Yang Palace disciples again. It's a bunch of rubbish. Outside the boundary of Tsangming, Shen Tian Fang also saw the scene and couldn't help cursing. Elder Marshal Brother Shen, it's not good. Yi Tian has such a magic weapon. Why didn't he know it beforehand? Du Tianza, who was next to him, also said with an ugly face. A bunch of rubbish. I told them to be careful. Let other families find out about him first, and then they will be fishermen. They are so greedy and ignore my words. What's more hateful is that the spirit insects and monsters are useless, so they are collected by Yi Tian, and the waste is home. Shin Tian looks at the fierce light and says angrily. Although Du Tianzi's disciples are greedy for their work and have a bad response to the enemy, it's no use complaining. He takes a look at his disciples who are still being chased by Yi Tian and says, they all have the cards to protect their lives, but they don't make good use of them. We should immediately send another person in and give them some advice, and then let them stay away from Yi Tian for a while, don't act rashly. No, it's not only necessary to send people in, but also to send the holy fire in. Although Yi Tian's magic weapon and flying magic weapon are powerful, they are one person after all. Now there are 10,000 or 20,000 monks in the golden elixir realm. How many more can he kill? What's more, as a late monk in Longmen realm, how much mana can he spend? Let other forces consume Yi Tian's mana as much as possible, and then our disciples will reap the benefits of fishermen. 
Shen Tianfang said. What if the flame is lost? Du Tianzi said anxiously. It's impossible to solve the problem in the future. Except for the disciples of our palace, you don't have to worry about which sex fire control skill can reach the level of Zheng Yang Palace. Just follow it. At this time, Shen Tianfang saw that another Zheng Yang Palace disciple was killed in the Tsangning Kingdom and could not wait to say. All right then. Du Tianzi reluctantly agreed and turned to arrange. Just like the Zheng Yang Palace, the other forces at the helm were shocked by the power of the fierce sword and began to discuss urgently. Later, some forces sent Jin Dan disciples into Tsungming Kingdom. After the fierce soldier's flying sword killed more than ten Zheng Yang Palace disciples in succession, those Zheng Yang Palace disciples reacted one after another. When the light of the sword flashed, and then they chopped towards a fleeing Zheng Yang Palace disciple, a talisman in the monk's hand was excited. Just at the moment when the fierce soldier's flying sword was cut, a defensive shield suddenly appeared to protect the monk. Ka! The fierce soldier's flying sword falls down without accident and cuts on the transparent defense shield. Yi Tian is also surprised by the high level of the defense talisman. The flying sword fell suddenly and bounced back on the shield. The shield trembled, but it didn't break. The monk of Zheng Yang Palace in the shield was a little relieved when he saw the scene. He lost his blood color and calmed down a little. Master, this defense shield is enough to resist the attack of the monks in the later stage of Yuanying Realm, but my attack power now can only reach the level of the middle stage of Yuanying Realm. If I continue to attack, I will consume the power of the shield and break it. But such attacks can only be launched more than 500 times in a row at most, and then it will take at least 7 days to recover. Yi Tiangang just sent out the idea to let the fierce soldiers continue to attack, but the sound of the soul of Zian Dragon came from his ear. This kind of shield can prevent the attack of the monks in the late Yuan dynasty? Yi Tian didn't do it himself, but he also saw the power of this defensive talisman. Unexpectedly, it took Xianlong's sword soul some time to control the flying sword. Moreover, he knew for the first time that the soul of Xianlong's sword could only attack more than 500 times in a row. Before, except in the Great Wilderness Spirit Realm, Xianlong's sword soul had repeatedly attacked, and had not attacked so intensively in the rest of the time. How can Yi Tian know if the soul of Xianlong's sword doesn't say? More than 500 times is certainly not enough. It seems that it is impossible to solve all battles with fierce swords. A little ponder, Yi Tian figure a flash, came to the shield outside, the hand suddenly appeared that five elements bead. The five elements bead is in hand, and Yi Tian suddenly inputs mana. A hazy halo immediately envelopes him with a small arc of defense shield. At the next moment, the fierce flying sword turned into a cold light. It penetrated through the halo shrouded shield and cut off with the trend, creating a shadow of the sword. The disciple of Zheng Yang Palace, who thought he could take refuge in the defensive shield for the time being, suddenly changed his face. He couldn't dodge in the narrow shield, so he was cut down by the fierce sword and turned into two pieces. The shield disappeared with a cry, leaving only a defensive talisman with mysterious runes on it. Half of the corpse held it in his hand and fell to the white bone on the ground. Yi Tian reaches for a move and moves the talisman to his hand. After a careful look, he finds that the talisman can also be used many times. From the qualitative change of the talisman, we can see that there are still many powers left in it. The previous monk only consumed a small part of the power when he inspired the talisman. If there is not much left in it, the talisman will be blurred naturally, and the fluctuation of spirit power in it is certainly not so strong. If the power is exhausted, the talisman will turn into ash and disappear. This kind of talisman may not be widely used by Yi Tian, but there are many monks who follow him in the Golden Elixir realm. Everyone can use it. Otherwise, Yi Tian won't let this talisman fall into the hands of other monks. Can it be obtained by the people of the eight sects? If you use the five element pearl, you will waste an attack opportunity of the fierce soldier's flying sword. This kind of defense shield is nothing more than the five elements of gold, wood, water, fire and earth. Even if the five elements are intertwined, in theory, the five element beads should still be effective. This is just Yi Tian's theoretical speculation, which has not been tested before. After a trial just now, it is true. It's really a treasure. 
Yi Tian happily put away the five element beads in his heart, and then quickly fell down. His gesture moved again, and the Shumi ring on the corpse was taken in his hand. No matter what's inside is useful or not, Yi Tian can't leave it to other monks in Sun Ming Kingdom. Looking at himself, there was no monk in Zhang Yang Palace within a radius of more than ten miles, and no one else from other sects came close to him. Yi Tian calmly branded the Shumi ring as a god, and began to check the items inside. The first thing Yi Tian took out was a talisman. Looking at the talisman pattern on it, Yi Tian's eyes flashed with joy. This talisman turned out to be a Yuanying talisman. Although it is not as powerful as the Yuanying talisman it has, it is a real Yuanying talisman after all. After being inspired, it should be able to withstand the full blow of the friars in the middle of Yuanying period. It's a pity that this person has not used it, so he has fallen into his own hands. Yi Tian has only four of the ten Yuan baby runes he has got in the great wilderness. He has never been willing to use them. The monk of Zhang Yang Palace killed just now is about the later cultivation of Jin Dan realm. Moreover, this kind of cultivation is only at a low level among the disciples sent by Zhang Yang Palace. According to this situation, there should not be a few disciples carrying this kind of talisman in Zhang Yang Palace. It seems that the other party has really lost money. You know, this kind of Yuanying talisman is very precious. It's also rare in high-end shops selling resources. It seems that Zhang Yang Palace can be ranked among the eight sects, and the accumulation of innumerable years cannot be underestimated. Maybe it was that the monks in Zhang Yang Palace were killed by Dun Tiansuwa and fierce soldiers flying swords alternately. They were not too close to the monks in Zhang Yang Palace, so that the other party did not have time to use this talisman and fell into the Tsongming world. Or, the number of Yuanying runes in their hands is limited, and they need to stay in Tsongming Kingdom for a long time. In a hurry, they didn't realize that the opportunity of killing was coming, so they didn't want to use them. It is speculated that Yi Tian put away the Yuan infant talisman, and a white jade bottle appeared on his hand again. Take off the cork and pour out three green pills from it. Yi Tian's nose moves back and forth slightly and has been smelled from the elegant smell. These three pills are all used to quickly restore mana. Although the effect is much worse than that of the same kind of elixir made by ourselves, after taking it, its speed must be far faster than that of restoring mana with Xianyu. In the case of a limited number of self-made elixirs, this elixir of restoring mana is also useful to the monks under his command. Now there are three pills on this man. How about all the pills on the friars of Zheng Yang Palace? Thinking of this, Yi Tian's eyes lit up as if he had found a huge treasure house. Next, Yi Tian continues to check. There are two top magic weapons, nearly 10,000 Xianyu and some personal belongings. Unfortunately, Yi Tian didn't see that kind of defense talisman again. However, this kind of harvest is not small. It is rare to find the resources you need in Jin Dan realm. Yi Tian felt carefully what he put away. Except for the trace breath and Shumi precepts, all the other things are safe. Simply, Yi Tian put everything away. Finally, he flicked the empty Zumaji, flew to the distance, landed in the bones, and could not be found anymore. Then, Dun Tiansua appeared again, and Yi Tian floated to the top. Without opening the shield, he stood in Dun Tiansua and flew slowly to the distance. Suddenly, in the white light, an extremely dazzling light rushed out from the thick bones of the ground and flew to the sky. Yi Tian's toes beat on Dun Tiansua, and his body shot out. Then the cloud photographer flew out. The big hand made of mana quickly rolled to the dazzling white light, and then took it back. This matter that white light has already turned into a white bone, fell on the hand of Yi Tian. When Yi Tianing looked at it carefully, the white bone was as bright as jade. There were many simple and mysterious rune patterns on it, and the power flickered in the rune patterns. Is this the legendary Tsun Ming order? When he checked Shumi precepts before, he found that this kind of white light was emitted from other places and then obtained by nearby monks. It should be Tsang Ming order. But Yi Tian looks at those runes, but he has a strange feeling. This cut white bone is not a natural thing, and the runes on it are absolutely not independent. This should be part of some field. If we say that every time Tsangming Kingdom erupts thousands of Tsangming orders, it means that thousands of Tsangming orders are engraved with field runes, 
and this field needs at least thousands of white bone runes. This kind of field should be extremely powerful. Yi Tian curiously looks at the rune patterns on the white bone, and slowly compares them with those rune patterns he knows. Time goes by a bit. After a moment, he moves his hand and puts the white bone away. Up to now, he has some conjectures. The field formed by this kind of rune is very different from other fields. This is a kind of soul-locking field, or soul-suppressing field, which is specially used to suppress the souls of people or monsters. Such a huge field, how powerful the soul will be suppressed, Yi Tian can't help but feel more and more strange in Sunming world. From the numerous bones to the soul field, they are all strange. Yi Tian once saw such a scene in Lan Sanling Yu, where is the blood forest, under which there are many bones. I wonder if there is any connection between the two? Yi Tian can't judge for a moment. After all, there are countless bloody amulets in the blood forest, but there are only white bone amulets here. The two are different. Although Yi Tian didn't find out why the white bone talisman pattern became Sungning Order, he didn't find any hidden soul or other things in it. The white bone itself was not strange, and the difference between the white bone and other white bones was only the talisman pattern engraved on it. There was no danger, so he boldly put it away. At this time, Dun Tiansua was still flying. The direction he was flying was where a group of Zhengyang Palace disciples had gathered. Yi Tian likes to kill the enemy. In particular, the other party's ancestors before a pair of killing their own appearance, at this time is not the same way, also do it? Yi Tian can guess that he has become the focus of all people from entering the white light. Whether outside or inside the Tsangming boundary, there are always countless pairs of eyes staring at themselves, and countless thoughts covering themselves. But so what? Yi Tian saw that the friars of Zhengyang Palace were frightened and prepared to rush out of the Tsangming world covered by white light and leave here. But finally, like his four-star heartworm, he was bounced back. The cold reality tells them that the road is blocked. Waiting for them, only death's sickle mercilessly reaps their lives. And this sickle is not in the hand of death, but in the hand of Yi Tian. Sensing Yi Tian's coming here, the monks of Zhengyang Palace who gathered together fled one after another, and even the monks of other forces nearby also avoided one after another, for fear of suffering from the disaster of the pond fish. Even the friars of the eight sects who once chased Yi Tian were the same. For a moment, those friars who had been swaggering before were withered. Other people, Yi Tian did not pay attention, in the pursuit of Zhengyang Palace friars this matter, he showed very focused. Unless there are other sect monks blocking his way, he will have the idea of hand, otherwise, like killing pigs, one by one. In fact, he came all the way, and no friar dared to stop him. Even before how arrogant the eight sections. Damn, so many people, why only chase us? In front of him, a disciple of Zheng Yang Palace, who ran away quickly with his flying sword, muttered as he ran away. Go! With the speed of the monk who was half a step away from Tiansua, he can't catch up with him in too much time. Yi Tian's mind moves, and he drinks a lot. As soon as hundreds of Clematis fly out, they jump on him in a flash. The monk was full of confidence before he entered the Tsungming kingdom. He had Yuanying talisman in his hand and strong defense shield. It should be the best time to show his skills and stand out from the sect. However, when he saw that his fellow disciples were still easily broken and killed by Yi Tian after stimulating the shield, he could no longer have the idea of using the defensive shield in front of Yi Tian. As for the Yuan Yingfu in his hand, his only fantasy is to be able to get in close contact with Yi Tian and then surprise him with a blow. But this hope is also extremely slim. After all, Yi Tian escaped the pursuit of many great friars in Yupu realm. What's more, it's just a Yuanying rune that can only give the monk of Yuanying realm a full blow. But now, Yi Tian Zhen didn't give him a chance to do it. Many wire ants swarmed up. What can he do with ten Yuan baby runes? The Taishan ant is the most merciless. It gnaws at anything it sees. In the crazy gnawing, the friar of Zhengyang Palace howls like a pig. At the beginning, he was still very fierce. He was writhing and fleeing all the way, howling and running for his life. But as time went on, his speed became slower and slower, and his howling voice became weaker and weaker. Finally, his voice turned into a broken corpse and fell down. 
Yi Tian reaches out his hand and takes away his flying sword and shumi ring. Then he grabs it and puts another piece of white bone claw into his hand. The white bone depicting the mysterious rune pattern is another Sung Ming Ling Yi Tian took a look at it and put the bone away. Then he picked up his combat power. The things inside are similar to those seized last time. Yi Tian takes everything and throws away Zumaji. Then continue to pursue and kill the next Zheng Yang Palace disciple. The Holt Sangming Kingdom became a place for Yi Tian's cultivation, while those helpless Zheng Yang Palace disciples became lambs to be slaughtered. One by one, the disciples of Zheng Yang Palace were overtaken by Yi Tian, and then they were dismembered by the ruthless Taishan ant, repeating the process again and again. Occasionally, as before, he would easily pull out an erupting Song Ming Ling and put it into his pocket. Boom! Outside the boundary of Tsangming, Shen Tianfan and Du Tianzi's faces were livid as they looked at a cloud of blood mist on the white bones. When the disciples of Zhang Yang Palace were killed by Yi Tian, they almost vomited blood, and their lungs were about to explode. Unfortunately, in view of their previous experience, although they valued themselves as great monks in Yupu realm, they had nothing to do and did not dare to enter Tsangming realm. In order to determine whether the Tsangming kingdom still has the mysterious power to kill the friars above Yuanying realm, just now, they sent a five-level monster into the white light. As expected, when the fifth-level monster entered the white light, it exploded and turned into a blood mist. The monster disappeared from the world. No, can't you just watch all the disciples of our sect being killed one by one by Etian? By Etian's means, when Brahma king refined the holy fire, those disciples were almost dead. Du Tianzi's face became more and more livid and murmured. I'll find a way. Xin Tianfang's face changed for a while. After several breaths of silence, he said that his figure had disappeared from the original place. The next moment, his figure appeared in another edge of Tsangming world, in front of He Chenggang, the ancestor of Li Huozong. He Dao Yu, we are the alliance of eight sections. Is it wrong to leave Huozong? My Zhangyang Palace disciples asked for help from Li Huozong disciples. Why didn't they help me when I saw death? Shen Tianfang said this because a monk of Zhangyang Palace once fled to Li Liua Palace, but Li Huozong's disciples ignored him and left. In the end, Yi Tian caught up with him and killed him mercilessly. As an old monster in Yupu, Shen Tianfang seldom says his purpose directly. He usually twists and turns, and then penetrates his original intention in order to take the initiative. This time, the same is true. However, He Chenggang sneered and said, Shen Daoyu, when you enter the Tsangming world, all the disciples of each sect rely on their own abilities. The disciples of Zhang Yang Palace are incompetent. Why do you want to lead Yi Tian to the position of the disciples of the sect Shen Tian Fang didn't mean to ask a teacher for a crime? After hearing He Chenggang's retort, he changed the topic without any intention, he doubt you, what's the point of discussing in front of Yi Tian, who is so ambitious? I feel that our two disciples can take the lead to attack Yi Tian and capture him. Otherwise, if you are beaten passively, you will be defeated by Yi Tian one by one sooner or later. At that time, there was also he doubt you who was chasing Yi Tian. Don't expect this ruthless young man to break away from Huazong with you. Even if we break him to pieces after the closure of Tsangming Kingdom, the loss has already been caused, and it will be too late to repent. If it is broken, the Zhang Yang Palace is also broken. Why should our sect make a pot for your Zhang Yang Palace? If you want our disciples to join hands with you to kill Yi Tian, Xin Daoyu will give your Zhang Yang flame to me, and then discuss it. I'm also responsible for the lives of my disciples, right? He Chenggang said with a flash in his eyes, and then looked at Shen Tianfang, waiting for his reply. That's ridiculous. You'll regret it. Shen Tianfang angrily rebuked, turned around and disappeared. Elder Marshal Brother, I think Shen Leigue has some truth. Shen Tianfang will never agree at the cost of the holy fire. But we can change other conditions, knock him out of it, and work together to deal with Yi Tian. It's also self-help. What do you think, elder marshal brother? He Chenggang next to a thin old man in Shen Tianfan left, said the voice. This man is the second ancestor of Li Huozong, the younger marshal brother of He Chenggang, and also a great monk in Yupu. Hearing the words, He Chenggang shook his head and said, younger marshal brother, this is not true. 
Now the disciples of Zhenyang Palace are like headless flies. They are scared by Yi Tian and have no fighting spirit. Joining hands with them is like finding a team mate like a pig. Is there any reason to win? Even if we really win, there will be many casualties for our disciples. It's better not to join hands with Zhenyang Palace and let Yi Tian kill its disciples. Why not take this opportunity to weaken the power of Zhenyang Palace although Yi Tian's means are powerful? his realm is low and his mana is limited. How long can he endure the consumption? The disciples of our palace can wait for an opportunity. When Yi Tian's mana is exhausted, his spirit insects should be almost consumed. At that time, it's not more cost-effective for us to win the battle of Xingli. Even if the disciples of Zhang Yang Palace can't exhaust Yi Tian's mana, isn't there still so much power? We have the largest number of disciples in Li Huozong. Yi Tian is not so stupid. The second one will come to us, so Elder Marshal Brothers' plan should be safe, safe and perfect. Look, Old Shen has gone to the old lady of Qingyun sect to talk about cooperation. With their support, we should have no worries from the disciples of Huazong. Elder Marshal Brother is wise, foresight and resourceful. I really admire him. If you listen to the Elder Marshal Brothers' words and study for ten years, you should follow the Elder Marshal Brothers plan. The second ancestor of Li Huozong nodded and praised. Sunming Kingdom is also a field of life and death. Yi Tian doesn't care what reaction those great friars in Yupu realm outside the boundary have, although he drives Dun Tiansua to pursue and kill the friars in Zhang Yang Palace. In the thousands of miles of Sunming Kingdom, he killed more and more Zhang Yang Palace disciples. The rest of the forces along the way gave way one after another. Until the end, almost all of them avoided to the edge of Tsangming Kingdom. If this area had not been closed by the white light field, I'm afraid many monks would have retreated directly out of Tsangming Kingdom. Where Dun Tiansua went, there was a black cloud surging. It was Yi Tian who released more and more Clematis. Although there are many monks in Tsangming Kingdom, on average, everyone has only one life. As a monk in Jindan Kingdom, no one thinks that he can escape the siege of the four peak Clematis. As for the group attack, but sacrifice some lives, Yi Tian can also be done, this idea is to hope others to do, oneself except ready made. They are all the masters of the dead way friends but not the poor way. They want to rush to sacrifice themselves and then make others happy. Sorry, no concubine can do it. There are not only other forces retreating to the edge of Tsangming Kingdom, but also people from Zhengyang Palace. A while ago, there were nearly 100 Zhengyang Palace disciples who died in Yi Tian's hands. At this time, most of the remaining Zhengyang Palace disciples gathered together, and some scattered disciples were gathering there from all directions. The disciples of Zhengyang Palace tried to leave Tsangming realm, but the invisible field separated them. No one could get out. Outside the boundary of Tsangming, Xin Tianfang and Du Tianzi were standing about a foot away from these disciples. In addition, there were hundreds of people from Zhang Yang Palace, including the leader of Zhang Yang Palace, Jin Shang, the peak monk of Washingjing, and the rest were mostly the Washingjing and Yuanyangjing monks of Zhang Yang Palace. To see little of each other though living nearby. People outside can't get in, people inside can't get out, but Ji Tian's figure is getting closer and closer. The remaining disciples of Zhang Yang Palace were looking at the elders of the sect outside the boundary of Tsangming. Their faces were full of fear. How pitiful they were. This step away cut off their way of life, but also cut off their hope. No one of the elders of the high realm outside dare to step into the Tsangming world, and even if they attack the Tsangming world from the outside, they can't do it. Shen Tianfang had tried to control a flying sword to protect his disciples from the outside. But as soon as the flying sword entered the Tsangming kingdom, it lost control and fell on the bones. Try to use the Taoist art, but the mana is also in the Tsangming world, vanishing in the invisible, does not play any role at all. Inside and outside the boundary, there is also a cutoff of the transmission of divine thoughts. The only one that has no cutoff is the normal sound. People outside can hear the screams and wails of Tsangming's disciples in the boundary, and the disciples inside can also hear the angry shouts of their peers outside the boundary. However, all this is useless, Yi Tian is still fast approaching. Emperor, how long will it take to refine the holy fire? Looking at the approaching Dun Tiansua, Shen Tianfang asked anxiously. 
At the edge of Sungming Kingdom, among the many disciples of Zhenyang Palace in Jindan Realm, a middle-aged monk was sitting with his knees crossed. At this time, his face was red, and his face was covered with fine beads of sweat. He was trying hard to refine the Zhenyang holy fire into the Dantian. This fire is terrible, but it can't be controlled without refining. It's not a simple thing to refine. The disciple called Tianjun is named Fan Tianjun. He is the third elder martial brother of this generation of disciples in the Golden Elixir realm. He is gifted and has excellent cultivation talent. Although he ranks third among the elder martial brothers, he is the fastest and the highest one. He has entered the Golden Elixir realm at the age of less than 40. He is only half a step away from turning the Golden Elixir in the Elixir realm into a Yuanying, he entered the ranks of monks in Yuan dynasty. This is the leader of the generation of disciples in Zhang Yang Palace, and the core of the core. Shen Tianfang was accepted as his own disciple, and has a very high position in Zhang Yang Palace. Therefore, Shen Tianfang gave the sacred fire that had been kept in Zhang Yang Palace to Vatican King for refining, hoping that he could save the lives of these disciples in the Golden Elixir realm. Hearing Shen Tianfang's inquiry, Fan Tianjin raised his head and spat out four words, half an hour. Well, concentrate on refining. In any case, you have to persist until you finish refining the holy fire. Shen Tianfang nodded. Although half an hour was a little long, the refining speed had exceeded his expectation and was faster than he expected. Brahma didn't make any response. The sweat on his forehead was still coming out, and his face became more and more red. It was really difficult for him to refine the terrible holy fire with his current cultivation. Under the whole god refining the holy fire, he has no energy to answer Shen Tianfang correctly. My disciples, please pay attention to protect Brahma. Lin Xiotong, Lu Zhao and Ye Zheng, you three open three layers of defense shield to guard the emperor. Your three responsibilities are to protect the emperor to complete the refining of holy fire. The rest of the disciples, stop Yi Tian by all means and at all costs. Looking at Yi Tian, who was less than 10 li away, Shen Tian Fang said decisively that he had contacted the old lady of Qing Yun sect before, but unfortunately, he was rejected by the injured old lady. Now the situation is urgent, and he has no more time to contact other sections. Yes. All the disciples agreed, and immediately three of them came to Brahma, who was sitting with his knees crossed. The three of them continuously urged the defensive shield, one by one, to protect Brahma in the innermost shield layer by layer. Be ready. When Yi Tianfang's spirit insects come over, he will attack them with Yuanying talisman, supplemented by fire attribute Daoshu. Seeing that Yi Tian stopped suddenly six or seven miles away, Shen Tian said in a flash of cold light. Then he looked at Du Tianza, the second ancestor beside him, release all the other disciples of Jindan realm. If necessary, go into the realm to protect the Brahma king. Yes at this stage of the situation, it's not easy for Du Tianzi to say anything more. Although he thinks it's a bit inappropriate, in front of so many disciples of the sect, he can't refute Lao Tzu's words anymore, and the refutation is certainly invalid. After a promise, he gestured and released the magic weapon cave again. Within the boundary of Sanming, Yi Tian stood on Dun Tianzua and looked at him. Suddenly, he became dark and a large black cloud gushed out. Six or seven miles away, the disciples of Zhenyang Palace outside the boundary of Sanming could still hear the buzzing sound when the wings of the spirit insects vibrated. Shen Tianfang's eyes can't help staring at the black cloud. He originally knew that there were about two or three thousand spirit insects on Yi Tian's body. After entering the Sanming kingdom for such a long time, Yi Tian released no more than three thousand spirit insects at most. The two are consistent. However, when he saw the big black cloud, his intuition told him that there were at least tens of thousands of spirit insects in the black cloud. Tens of thousands of fourth order spirit insects. For the friars in the golden elixir realm, it's a terrible thing to think about it, especially the defense and attack power of this kind of spirit insect are extremely terrible. Yi Tian, how about having a talk? There was a little misunderstanding before, but it didn't hurt you. Zhenyang Palace has a truce with you, and the old enmity has been written off. How about two crimes of well water and river water? I promise that even if you go out of the Tsungming world, I won't do it to you again. 
When his eyes fell from the black cloud to Yi Tian again, Shen Tianfang suddenly said weakly. Seeing that Shen Tianfang was forced to such an appearance, a great monk in Yupu realm made peace with a monk in Longmen realm. No matter what he thought, he said it. Yi Tian can't help but smile and say, since you old miscellaneous hair have said so, Yi Mao can't promise you anyway. Yi wants you to look at your disciples and die in front of you one by one. Since the two Y judging, all those who provoke Yi, Yi must return one by one you're going to kill yourself. Being ridiculed by a Longmen junior, Shen Tianfang couldn't hold his face at that time. He knew that this place had become the focus of all eyes. Almost all the monks outside Sangming's boundary covered it with divine thoughts. His delaying strategy failed, and he didn't want to fight with Yi Tian anymore. But he was already ruthless in his heart. After he caught Yi Tian, he would not be able to fight with him, be sure to serve him well. Let him not survive, not die. Ah! At this time, at the edge of Tsangming Kingdom, one of the disciples of Zheng Yang Palace, who were waiting for Yi Tian, suddenly let out a cry of surprise. The voice came from the edge of Tsangming Kingdom. The disciple in front didn't know what happened, so he couldn't help looking back subconsciously. Attention, Yi Tian's spirit insect is coming. Just at this time, Shen Tian Fang suddenly gave a big drink. Ah! Ah! Poisonous insects! When the monks who looked back just turned back to inspire Yuan Ing Fu, there were several exclamations behind them, followed by a shout. Pying! Then one of the friars burst out of his chest and fell to the ground. Attention, it's a kind of transparent snake. This snake is very poisonous. Shen Tianfang, who has noticed the sudden change, suddenly shouts a warning. At this time, the friars of Zheng Yang Palace are in chaos. Buzz. In a moment of chaos, tens of thousands of Fourth Order Clematis had spread out and flew to the front. Boom. 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 Dozens of Zheng Yang Palace disciples hastily inspired the prepared Yuanying rune in their hands and sent out a powerful mana to bombard the flying iron line ant. However, the rest of the disciples were disturbed by the chaos in the team. When they wanted to inspire Yuan Ying Fu again, most of them had already flown into the crowd and mingled with many other disciples. No one dares to stimulate Yuan Ying Fu anymore. The Iron Line ants who were attacked by the magic power of Yuan Ying Fu were only blown backward, and they flew back to the crowd after ten feet, then they flapped their wings again, but they were not hurt at all. Tens of thousands of Clematis, more than 400 monks of Zheng Yang Palace, mixed together in this way. It's a scuffle. In fact, it's the abuse of the Iron Line and to the friars of Zheng Yang Palace. Among them, Yi Tian's two shadowless snakes launched a sudden attack, and the disciples of Zheng Yang Palace were even more unbearable. Some of them had been tortured to death, forgetting that their mission was to protect the Vatican King and the shield, and began to flee in the gnawing of the cone. Enter the boundary and kill Yi Tian with all your strength. Looking at this scene, Shen Tian Fang, who had turned black, suddenly looked back at the more than 1,300 monks and nuns in the Golden Elixir realm standing in front of the cave, and cried out. Who dares not to follow the orders of the ancestors? Although Yi Tian and Tai Xian ants are powerful, these friars dare not refuse. As soon as the voice of Shen Tian's voice fell, a Taoist shadow flew away, rushed into the Tsangming realm and directly killed Yi Tian. Welcome! Yi Tianling snorts. A magic power hits Dun Tianzua. Dun Tianzua's shield is suddenly opened. Next moment, it turns into a light. It bumps into a large number of Zheng Yang Palace disciples who come to fight against him. Dun Tianzua rushed into the crowd, just like entering the uninhabited world. The shadows were bumped and flew, continuously making a dull sound of impact. Just like fighting on horseback, Dun Tianzua passed through the crowd. When he was about to come to the edge of Tsangming Kingdom, he made a beautiful turn. With the beautiful silver light, he turned around again and rushed to the place where the disciples of Zheng Yang Palace were concentrated. It's a human shadow again. Search for allies separately. See the scene, Shen Tian Fang to Du Tianzi said in a hurry, has disappeared from the original place. Du Tianzi frowned at Tsangming, then stamped his foot and left here. Bang! 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 The disciples of Zheng Yang Palace, who had come back to their senses, 
began to use various means to attack Duan Tianzhuo according to Yi Tian's Dun Tianzhuo. Several disciples even tried to bind Duan Tianzhuo with magic power or rope, and various means emerged one after another. Unfortunately, with the speed of Dun Tianzhuo and Yi Tian's precise manipulation, there are few attacks on Dun Tianzhuo. A few attacks on Dun Tianzhuo are just like ants shaking trees, which has no effect on the speed of his pursuit. It's still continuous. Not only are the disciples of Zheng Yang Palace hit and flew, but with the terrible speed of Dun Tianzhuo, the impact is absolutely not light. Head on, at least it's a broken tendon. The second group of disciples didn't have Yuan Ying Fu and other attack methods, because all the resources were allocated to the first group of Jindanjing monks. These monks are suffering from the rampant attack of Clematis, and a small number of disciples have died under the bite of Clematis. In addition to the four monks in the shield, the first group of disciples who entered the Tsongming kingdom were all entangled by the Taishan ant, but they died earlier or later. All disciples, attack Yi Tian with all your strength. The two ancestors left here to look for reinforcements. Only the palace leader, Jin Shang, was left as the supreme commander. At this time, he cried with an ugly face. Seeing that many disciples of our palace are besieged by Taishan ants, most of them have Yuan Ying runes. If they die, they will surely fall into Yi Tian's hands. It's better to inspire them all. Even if they can't cause any damage to Yi Tian, at least they don't have to lead them to Yi Tian anymore. Want to attack? Jian Shan's voice is very loud. Yi Tian naturally has no reason that he can't hear. He hits Dun Tianzua with a magic power. He gets rid of the second group of friars who entered Sangming Kingdom and directly bumps into the first group of friars who are besieged by Taishan ants. Dun Tianzua rushed into the crowd at a terrifying speed. Suddenly, an extremely beautiful drift came. The tail of the shuttle swept by, and dozens of friars of Zhengyang Palace were hit and flew. Then, Dun Tianzua staged another drift sweep and hit more than a dozen people. Yi Tian naturally guessed the intention of Jin Shang. How could he give these monks too many opportunities? As for the life and death of Clematis, Yi Tian doesn't have to worry at all. With the body strength of Clematis, there will be no problem with such a degree of impact. Moreover, Clematis is small and flexible. As early as when Dun Tianzua hit it, it had already got up and avoided. Yi Tian drives Dun Tianzua around the friars group. The friars who originally wanted to inspire Yuan Ingfu are a little hesitant because they are afraid of hurting their classmates by mistake. In this short period of time, Yi Tian took another hand, and Dun Tianzua continued to rush, sweeping more than 100 Zhengyang Palace disciples. All this happened in a very short moment, until this time, the second group of Zhengyang Palace disciples who were scattered by Yi Tian gathered together again and rushed to Dun Tianzua with their own magic weapons. Yi Tianling snorts and drives Dun Tianzua away again. Wow! At this time, more than a dozen monks gestured at the same time, and a large amount of black liquid splashed head-on, splashing on the shield of Dun Tianzua. The originally transparent shield turned black, and Yi Tian's vision was limited. Yi Tianling snorts. The mana continuously hits Dun Tianzua. Dun Tianzua suddenly rises. After a breath, the black shield disappears, and then another transparent shield covers Dun Tianzua again. This kind of mana shield only needs to be closed once, and the original shield will disappear. If you start again, it will be the shield of mana recondensation. A simple way to break the other side's trick, Yi Tian's eyes a bright, line of sight again, Dun Tianzua immediately dived down. Bang! Bang! The familiar crashing sound sounded again, and the shadows were bumped away one after another. Every time, Jin Shang's heart outside Sangming's boundary was convulsed. He was very distressed. They were all disciples of our school. They were cruelly abused here. It's no exaggeration to say it's cruel. Dun Tianzua was originally a magic weapon. It was extremely hard, and the weakest part was just the magic shield. But the part that strikes the friar is the head, tail, and both sides. There is no essential difference between striking the friar's body with magic weapon and directly attacking the friar with magic weapon. If you fight alone, it's absolutely a blind move to use Dun Tianzua to hit the friars. 
No matter how flexible Dun Tianzuai is, he is certainly not as flexible as the friars, and usually he will return without success. But in the crowded place, this move is a big killer. After all, it is so crowded that it becomes extremely difficult for monks to avoid. If you don't hit this one, you may hit that one. In the sky, the shadows were scattered and the blood burst out. From time to time, the friars of Zhenyang Palace lost their air control ability and fell to the pile of white bones below. At this time, one after another, some ants flew up, their wings hummed and vibrated, and rushed to the second group of monks of Zhenyang Palace. A few feet apart, outside the boundary of Tsangming. Shen Tianfang and Du Tianza appeared at Jianchang's side almost at the same time when Jianchang and many monks of Zhenyang Palace were distressed. Two grandfathers, what's the matter? See two people's facial expressions, Jin Shang in the mind already has some guess, but still can't help asking away. Shen Tianfang and Du Tianza are silent, shaking their heads, did not say anything, eyes flashing cold light to see Yi Tian. Yi Tian, if you don't stop, when Song Ming is closed and I catch you, I'll search your soul and kill all the people who have something to do with you, men and women, young and old, if you don't leave one of them, all of them will be killed. Suddenly, Shen Tianfang's eyes were red and he yelled. Lao Zemeo, the reason of the day before yesterday, the result of today, the murderer always killed him. When you go after Yi, you should be prepared to bear such consequences. Yi is not scared. Even if you can find Ye's relatives, Yi will kill you on the spot. Yi Tian sneers and sends out his voice. All the disciples, they die today, and they will be reincarnated in the future, but they will die and get rid of Yi Tian. Shen Tianfang's momentum burst out and he almost clenched his teeth and cheered. Come on, today I'll show you who got rid of who? Yi Tian's eyes are full, and his body is also full of momentum. He says in a cold voice. Although he said that, Dun Tianzua didn't stop. He was as fast as lightning, and ran around the friars. Within a short period of time, more than 1,000 of the second group of golden elixir monks came in. 50% of them had lost their fighting power and fell onto the white bones. Some of them had lost their breath and died. Some of them were still breathing. It was just a matter of swallowing earlier or later. Although the degree of injury is different, the disciples who are still fighting are still using various means to kill Dun Tianzuo. Even though Clematis has been eating their bodies, they still attack E.T. on like crazy. Whoosh! At a certain moment, Two disciples of Zhang Yang Palace suddenly descend to collect Zumaji from the same sect, and take out Yuan Ying Rune from them. Yi Tian, who had been prepared for a long time, cleans up. The fierce sword flies out of Dun Tianzuo, and two of them circle and kill them directly. Yi Tian has regarded the sutras on the earth as his own bag, and no one can touch them. In this life and death battle, there is no reason. The only reason is who is strong and who is weak. A massacre is on. Howls and shouts come and go. From time to time, there are broken limbs flying, blood splashing. From time to time, someone fell from the sky and landed on countless bones. After many years, he finally became one of the bones. I don't know how many people are watching this massacre. All the monks in the Tsangming world are watching the bloody scene. Everyone's reaction is different. Outside the boundary of Tsangming, more and more monks gathered, but the most recent of them were only 50 or 60 miles away, and no one dared to get too close. 20 or 30 great monks of Yupu Kingdom have gathered at different positions on the edge of Tsangming Kingdom. Any one of them is crazy, which is a great disaster for those monks of Huashan and Yuanian Kingdom. No one would have thought that a fight for Tsangming order would turn into what it looks like now. Yi Tian entered the Tsangming world alone, and even suppressed the eight sections. And Yi Tian, just a few feet away, slaughtered their disciples in front of the two ancestors of Zhang Yang Palace. No matter what the result of the opening of Tsangming world is, Yi Tian, this name is destined to become a legend. It's a legend created by a monk in Longmen. In the sky, the number of Zhang Yang Palace disciples is rapidly decreasing, and the less they are, the faster they will be. When the last group of dozens of disciples turned into corpses and fell down, Yi Tian looked at the three layers of defense shields inside and outside. There were four friars inside, three of them standing with swords and eyes full of fierce light. A middle-aged friar was sitting in the innermost shield with his knees crossed, his head steaming hot and his face flushed. 
It's your turn. Yi Tian gesture move, a hazy halo appeared out of thin air, will he in the outermost part of the shield shrouded in it. At the moment when the halo just appeared, there was a bang. The Yuanying talisman in Lin Xiotong's hand, a disciple of Zheng Yang Palace in the shield, suddenly burst out, and a powerful magic force burst out. Boom! Powerful mana blasted on the shield, which made the shield vibrate slightly. When Lin Xiotong is stunned, a hazy halo appears on Yi Tian again. However, the fierce soldier's flying sword in his hand flies into the shield from the halo. At the shining point of the sword, Lin Xiotong, the peak of Jindan realm, has been chopped into several sections by the fierce soldier's flying sword. Do you think he won't defend you? It's a trick to carve worms. Yi Tian reaches for a move, moves the flying sword back to his hand, and looks at the second layer of shield. The friar in this room is Lu Zhao, the friar at the top of Jindan realm. At this time, his eyes canthus to crack, holding a flying sword, is glaring at Yi Tian. Yi Tian, I'm Jin Shan, the leader of Zheng Yang Palace. Why don't we have a talk? Let go of these disciples, and you'll make an offer. As long as Zheng Yang Palace can do it, I'll promise you. Outside the boundary of Tsangming, Jin Shang suddenly spoke. You're trying to procrastinate. Yi Tian hit the nail on the head and said that the halo on his body once again shrouded the second layer of shield. Just when Lu Zhao hesitated whether to activate the Yuanying talisman, the fierce soldier's flying parts had entered the shield. A flash of light, the fighting stopped suddenly, Yi Tian looked at the innermost third layer of shield. There is no doubt that Lu Zhao at this time has been turned into several pieces of corpses. When Yi Tian attacked the last layer of shield, Shen Tian Fang and Du Tianza, less than three feet apart, immediately became nervous. If Fantianjin and Ye Zhang are killed by Yi Tian again, the nearly 2,000 Jindanjing disciples sent by Zheng Yang Palace will be destroyed. This is not the most important thing. The most important thing is that the holy fire of our sect is handed over to Brahma. If he dies, the holy fire will become a ownerless thing, not necessarily in anyone's hands. Shen Tianfang and Du Tianza are now outside the boundary of Tsangming, and they can do nothing about it. Come on, Yi Tian, see how long you can break it. Within the shield, Brahma still closed his eyes with his knees crossed, as if he had never seen the situation outside. However, as the peak of the golden elixir realm, Ye Zhang yelled, and a defensive talisman in his hand suddenly aroused him. In the remaining layer of shield, another defense shield appeared out of thin air, once again covering him and Brahma. Here, Ye Zhang, with a big mouth, once again revealed five defensive talismans. Five defensive shields appeared one after another, protecting them from each other. By this time, the shield outside Ye Zhang and Brahma had reached seven levels. How's it going? Yi Tian, break it. I still have it in my hand seeing that Yi Tian on Dun Tiansua is silent, Yi Zhang reaches out his hand and shakes a stack of defensive talismans in his hand. So it is. Yi Tian nodded slightly, and a smile appeared on his face. The five element beads in his hand suddenly glowed and covered all the seven layers of prohibition. Then the fierce swordsman chopped away to the king of Brahma, who was sitting on his knees. He did not pay attention to the roaring night Zhang. As soon as the fierce flying sword saw the seven layers of shield as nothing, it flew in and was about to cut him. However, a flame suddenly burst out under him, and his body rose like lightning. Ha! Ah, finally the refining is successful. Yi Tian, today is your death time. Fan Tianjin, who was high in the sky, was laughing wildly. With a gesture, a red flame came out with him. With the blazing high temperature, he quickly turned into a square of three or four mu and swept towards Yetian. The two flames of the same color under his feet suddenly glowed, and the Brahma king was in a flash of lightning again, avoiding the fierce sword again. If so, it's really the flame of Zhen Yang. There is a sneer on Yi Tian's lips. At the next moment, a blue mini phoenix suddenly emerges out of thin air, and turns into a size of more than ten Zhang, facing the sweeping Zheng Yang flame. Yi Tian pondered for a moment when he broke two layers of shield, leaving only the last layer of shield to protect Ye Zhang and Brahma. It is precisely because the mini phoenix in Dantian sent him a divine consciousness, the content of which is that he sensed the extremely high-level flame breath from Brahma. What kind of advanced flame can Zheng Yang Palace have? It's just the flame of Zheng Yang, which Yi Tian knew before. 
but the blue mini phoenix is eager for this high-level flame, and insists that Yi Tian let him out. Yi Tian knew that there must be a reason. When he saw the flames coming, he immediately met the requirements of the blue mini phoenix. Zhiji. The blue mini phoenix grows big quickly, and makes a series of joyful calls. It rushes up against the Zheng Yang flame. When the two meet, the huge body of the blue mini phoenix suddenly blooms in blue light, which is even bigger than the sweeping Zheng Yang flame. Almost at the same time, at the moment when the two kinds of flames collided, a terrible high temperature, which ordinary monks could not resist, burst out in a flash. Yi Tian and Brahma don't find it hard to bear, but the nearby Ye Zhang is in the high temperature, with hair and clothes burning. Almost at the same time, rain fell from the air and poured on him. Give him a ride. Seeing that the rain is about to extinguish the fire on Ye Zhang, Yi Tian says calmly that the fierce soldier's flying sword has come to this person with a flash of light. The originally embarrassed Ye Zhang has been cut into several sections by the fierce soldier's flying sword, and then it falls on the spot. Yi Tian, die. Fantianjin saw that the invincible Zhang Yang flame was entangled by Yi Tian's blue flame, and two flames broke out at his feet again, like rockets, rushing to Yi Tian and throwing a blow at Yi Tian. A red flame with violent and terrifying power strikes Yi Tian. Yi Tian's eyebrows wrinkled, and the heavenly wings were excited. His figure flashed to the distance. Just now, with the attack of Fanti Engine, it was clear that he had far surpassed the level of the friars in Jindan realm, and even reached the level of the middle and late Yuanying realm. Brahma itself does not have such a realm. The holy fire can only be the power of Zheng Yang holy fire. Yi Tian licked his lips. His eyes swept over the blue mini phoenix and the red flame. He found that they were like living creatures fighting together, as if they were trying to swallow each other. Although the Zheng Yang flame was released, the Brahma king still has the power of the flame. It may even be connected with the holy firepower that fights with the blue mini phoenix, so that the fierce soldier's flying sword cuts the air twice. In this case, Yi Tian's eyes were slightly fixed and pondered. The emperor of heaven has finally refined the holy fire. The overall situation is settled. Outside the boundary of Sunming, Shen Tian Fang, who was always livid, finally burst into a smile. Du Tianzi and Jin Shang also took a long breath. This time, although he lost almost all his disciples in the Golden Elixir Realm, if he can hold Yi Tian, maybe the gain is more valuable than the loss. Yi Tian, what is Yi Tian doing? Do you want to fight with Tian Jun? Just when Du Tianzi thought that Yi Tian would release Dun Tianzua to escape, and he was also planning how to arrest Yi Tian for Fan Tian Jun, he found that Yi Tian not only did not escape, but instead took Dun Tianzua, and a flash of white light on his body made him fight with Fan Tian Jun well, it's just too much. Shun Tian Fan also saw this scene. He gave a cold hum, and then he said to the Vatican king, Tian Jun, live. If he Tian dies, even if your mission fails. Master, I understand. I will take it alive. Fan Tianjin confidently said to Shen Tian Fan, and once again burst out the breath of terror, and rushed to Yi Tian. His two fists and feet are burning red flame, it seems that this blow is not small. However, before he got close to Yi Tian, he suddenly found that there were layers of sword curtains around his body. The hexahedral sword curtain seemed to be a cage composed of sword curtains gradually oppressing him. Although Brahma refined the Zhang Yang flame and greatly improved his combat effectiveness, his body strength was the same as before, and there was no change. If the cage of the sword curtain was closed, he would have felt the powerful lethality from the terrible pressure of the sword curtain, and he would certainly be unable to resist it. In a flash, he judged the situation. Although he was only facing the cultivation of the dragon's gate, he didn't dare to be careless anymore. He didn't attack the sword curtain rashly, but his mana burst out and supported the closure of the cage. At the same time, he made a move to the holy fire fighting with the blue mini phoenix. The holy fire immediately got rid of the entanglement of the mini phoenix, flew back and swept over to Yi Tian. What a superb fire control skill! There is also the fire operation before, which is the only one Yi Tian Ping saw. It seems that this person is absolutely extraordinary. An idea flashed through Yi Tian's heart, and his gesture moved. A cold light flew away. Xia Mission Sword Array withdrew. His body shape was also under the deployment of Tian Linji, 
and he flew away from here. Yi Tian has a certain chance of winning by using the Xia Mission Sword Array to kill Fanti Anjin. Even if he can send out flames now, it is only the afterglow of the Holy Fire, not the main flame. Once the main flame joins the battle group and is used by Brahma King, the short swords used in the Xia Mission Sword Array may not be able to withstand the melting of the main flame, and may melt. That night Zhang's spontaneous combustion situation, you can see the extraordinary place of this kind of flame, even the mini phoenix are some difficult to swallow. Don't think too much of yourself. Outside the boundary of Tsangming, Shen Tianfang saw this situation and gave a sneer, which made him more confident. Master, please give me strength. The little blue phoenix follows the flame of Zheng Yang and sends out a signal to Yi Tian for help. You know what? Don't try to be brave in the future. Yi Tian taught the elf a lesson. At the same time, he thought that Samadhi's true fire and the original spirit fire in the elixir field flew out and merged with the blue mini phoenix. You. Seeing this scene, Vatican King was surprised, but he just said this word, after the fusion of the three kinds of flames issued blue, white and red colorful brilliance, turned into the shape of a phoenix toward Vatican King. Its horror degree is more powerful than the simple blue mini phoenix. In the face of such a terrible flame, Brahma did not dare to unite man and fire anymore, but still sent out the holy fire to resist the three color flame. But he himself is closely followed by the flame, dare not give Yi Tian the opportunity to decorate Xia Mission Sword Array. In this case, Yi Tian smiles coldly, reaches for a move, and the fierce sword not far away falls into his hands. The fierce flying sword is controlled by the soul of Xianlong Sword. Its power is only the strength of the soul of Xianlong Sword, but it is controlled by Yi Tian himself. Its power is really the superposition of his own power and the soul of Xianlong Sword. Originally, Yi Tian was only a late cultivation in Longmen Realm, and his own strength was limited, so he usually let Xianlong Sword soul control the sword. But now it's different. Yi Tian has entered the peak of Longmen Realm. His own strength is more than four or five times stronger than before, and his own mana is also a force that can't be underestimated. Holding the fierce sword, Yi Tian takes a look at the Zhang Yang flame entangled with the three color flame, and his eyes turn back to Brahma. The present situation is the confrontation between flame and flame, and between friars and friars, but they complement each other. If his tricolor flame devours the flame of Zheng Yang, then Brahma King will lose the power of the flame and will be vulnerable under his own hands. If you kill Brahma first, the flame of Zheng Yang will become a ownerless thing, and it will be more easily engulfed by your own tricolor flame. As for his own Clematis and other spirit insects, including many dead men and disciples in the cave, Yi Tian is not ready to use them. He does not allow those people and spirit insects to have a little bit of loss, at least, now he is sure to be invincible. That is, after entering the peak of Longmen Realm, his Tianlinji magical power is much stronger than before. At a certain moment, the momentum of Yi Tian burst out again, and his body was shot out. The fierce soldier in his hand turned into a sword light of more than 10 meters, and cut off to Brahma. To die! Fantian Jun snorted coldly, and the flying sword of Bansian soldier in his hand also burst out the breath of terror and went up abruptly. Ka! There was a clear sound, and the two swords collided with each other, making a clear sound. The two figures suddenly flew back in the burst of momentum. The two pairs of heavenly wings behind Yi Tian suddenly appeared and stopped the retreating body shape in a moment. Then the heavenly wings flapped towards the retreating Vatican king, and the fierce sword in his hand chopped in the air again. Fanti Anjin's eyes were startled. He didn't dare to fight with Yi Tian again. Just now, the two swords collided. He had seen his Banksy and Bing flying sword cut a half-inch long gap by Yi Tian's flying sword. This is his most precious magic weapon. He cherishes it very much at ordinary times. He didn't expect that it would be damaged by today's move. Naturally, he is extremely distressed. The flame at his feet suddenly rises, and his figure suddenly flashes to the side. However, the fierce sword in Yi Tian's hand quickly changes and sweeps away. Brahma's body dodged again, but unexpectedly, this dodge seemed to be a little slower. The fierce sword, like lightning, had left a deep blood trough under his rib. The blood immediately rushed out and dyed the white clothes red. Yi Tian and Fan Tian Jun were both stunned. Yi Tian didn't expect that this sword would work, 
but originally he was going to have a fierce fight with this man. With the speed of the opponent before, this sword could not hurt him. Fanti Anjan's mind is the same. He can't believe that he saw blood under Yi Tian's bland sword. Although he didn't worry about his life, he was injured after all, which will affect his strength. Two people then after one Lang, looked together at two kinds of flames which entangled in one side. At the same time, they were surprised to find that it seems that the red flame of Zhang Yang has shrunk a little, while the three-color flame of Yi Tian has expanded a little. In this case, it is obvious that Yi Tian's tricolor flame gained the upper hand and devoured part of the Zhang Yang Holy Fire, which made the power of Vatican King, who was closely related to the Holy Fire, decline to some extent, so that he was attacked by Yi Tian's sword. When they found this situation, they were both happy and worried. Yi Tian, with a happy face, once again slashes to Brahma with a fierce flying sword. In the crazy shadow of the sword, Brahma, who was almost equal to Yi Tian, dodges and retreats. Poof! Poof! The sound of several flesh and blood bodies being scratched by the sharp blade came out one after another. The retreating Brahma king was already bloody, and his white gown had been dyed red. Lord, hold on! The Vatican king, with a trace of pain on his face, suddenly hears Shen Tianfang's voice, bites the tip of his tongue, bullies himself, and takes the initiative to attack Yi Tian. Success or failure depends on this. If you blindly dodge parry, let Yi Tian send out a fierce offensive, Brahma King knows that in this way, he must be defeated. The only way to do this is to break the bridge and lose both sides. Maybe there is still a chance to turn the tables. With the afterglow of the holy fire in his sword, he cut off Yi Tian's head. The heavenly wings behind Yi Tian gently flapped. Suddenly, he came to the back of Brahma, and the fierce flying sword cut down. Poof! I didn't expect that Yi Tian's body shape was so strange. Originally, it was because of the injury and the fire. However, the declining strength of Fan Tian Jun couldn't avoid the lightning strike, and one arm was cut off by Yi Tian. With blood gushing from his shoulder, Brahma had no time to make any response, but suddenly felt a pain in his other shoulder, and his only arm was cut off by Yi Tian. At this time, Yi Tian's hand is like electricity, and he moves several times on the Brahma king who has lost his arms. He has stopped him, making him half unable to move. Then, his palm stretched flat on the top of the man's head and began to search for his soul. Yi Tian, I will kill you and return the holy fire to me. Outside the boundary of Tsangming, Shen Tian let out a loud roar, and a magic force hit Yi Tian. It's a pity that once this magic power enters the Tsangming world, it's like a bullock disappearing into the sea. It doesn't threaten Yi Tian at all. Yi Tian smiles coldly, Lao Zemeo, as you wish, caught him. Soul searching? How can you search the soul of a monk in Yuan Yingjing? Shen Tian Fang originally thought that Yi Tian would use cruel means to open the head of Brahma, but suddenly saw Yi Tian's appearance at this time, and he couldn't help saying a word subconsciously. Why don't you, Lao Zemeo? If you stick your head over, Yi can search you as well. Yi Tian knows that both sides are already the situation of life and death, there is no room for relaxation, and he doesn't have to give each other any face, so he begins to sneer. What he pays more attention to is the situation that his three-color flame engulfs the flame of Zheng Yang. At this time, the red flame of Zheng Yang is getting smaller and smaller. It has been swallowed by the three-color flame for six to seven times. It should not take much time to swallow it all. All the forces in Sung Ming's circle chose to be the onlookers when he was fighting with the disciples of Zhen Yang Palace, and no one joined in. Even now, there is no change in any force. Yi Tian is so happy that he can search his soul quietly. Bit by bit, at a certain moment, the three-color flame that had swallowed up the Zhen Yang flame turned into a phoenix again. In the eyes of Shen Tian Fang and other monks of Zhen Yang Palace, they made a joyful cry and returned to Yi Tian. What a terrible flame feeling the terrible high temperature of the confluence flame, together with the terrible breath of palpitation, Yi Tian can't help but feel a joy in his heart. His idea moves into the Dan Tian and begins to refine. Although the flame of Zheng Yang is engulfed by its own flame, it is still strange to itself. Although it no longer has attack power to itself, it will take a little time to refine if you want to control the spirit fire. But this kind of refining is totally different from refining a strange flame, and it doesn't take so much time. After all, 
This kind of flame is a part of its own flame. Just as Yi Tian was searching for his soul, more than two hours passed quietly. After more than two hours, Yi Tian suddenly looked up at Shen Tian Feng, Du Tianzi, and others. Then he spat out his strength on his hand and directly killed the restricted Brahma King. At that glance, it was an obvious provocation, that is, to kill the last monk in the Golden Elixir realm in front of your ancestors. This is the price that you once chased me. Yi Tian. Shen Tian Fan grits his teeth and says this word. He stares at Yi Tian, but he never says the third word. Yi Tian doesn't care what he is thinking in his heart. He starts to clean the battlefield in no hurry. While cleaning, my heart is still thinking about the soul search before. This Brahma king usually devotes himself to practice and doesn't know much about the outside world, but about the art of fire control, it is a true biography of Shin Tian Fang. Although Yi Tian's fire attribute Taoism has reached its peak, there are shortcomings in some aspects of fire control and fire movement. After soul searching, he combined the fire control skills of Zhang Yang Palace with his understanding of the most fire attribute Taoism. In this way, he believed that his fire control skills should have exceeded the highest level of Zheng Yang Palace. Here is simply about skills, not strength. Nearly 2,000 monks of Zheng Yang Palace died here. Yi Tian did it himself and spent a lot of time cleaning the battlefield. After sorting out all those Shumi commandments, such as Yuanying Talisman, Defensive Talisman, and a large number of pills for restoring mana, he threw all those Shumi commandments aside. This has taken more than three hours. Taking advantage of this time, Yi Tian also just recovered his spent mana, and so did the soul of Zion Long Sword. During his busy time, the disciples of other forces still didn't do much. But Yi Tian also found some phenomena, that is, there are some forces, especially those in the eight sections one after another, some monks entered the Tsongming kingdom, and then gathered together with those monks who had entered before. They muttered and seemed to have a plot. It's time for the next one. Finally, after finishing all the work, Yi Tian murmured and set foot on Dun Tiansua. Dun Tiansua adjusted his angle slightly in the air and flew quickly in a certain direction. At the position corresponding to the head of the shuttle, a group of friars were meditating with their knees crossed. When Dun Tiansua was flying in this direction, although they were still hundreds of miles away, they all stood up one by one, and their eyes were solemnly sensing the closer and closer Dun Tiansua. More than 600 people lined up in a triangular shape, with one corner facing Yi Tian. Qing Yun Sect This group of people selected by Yi Tian is one of the most fierce sects after entering Tsangming Kingdom. Before he entered the Tsangming Kingdom, he was chased by the friars of Qing Yun Sect, especially Junwazing, the ancestor of Qing Yun Sect. It's time for revenge. Yi Tian, who had killed nearly 2,000 people in Zhang Yang Palace before, was not proud of his victory. Instead, he put away his contempt for the eight sections. The friars in the golden elixir realm of Zhang Yang Palace were not weak at first, and they had many Yuanying runes and defensive runes. If they didn't meet the friars with so many means, but faced with other forces, Zhang Yang Palace would definitely be a strong force. Yuanying runes can only be refined by the great friars of Yupu realm. For such a large number of Yuanying runes, Wan Jishin has seized 600 or 700, not counting the consumption of Zhang Yang Palace disciples in the war. Thus, in order to open the world of Tsanming, Zhang Yang Palace put a lot of thoughts. It is not difficult to see that the other seven sects are certainly prepared, and they are not necessarily less prepared than Zhang Yang Palace. When I fought Zhang Yang Palace before, I had already used various means. All the forces who entered Sangming Kingdom watched the whole battle, and the friars from outside kept coming in to make some countermeasures against my various means. This is a very easy thing to think of. Zhangyang Palace is famous for its fire control. What about Qing Yun Sect? The way of alchemy and mechanism of Qing Yun Sect monopolizes the leader of Taiman's spiritual realm, and no force can be on his right. From searching the soul of the disciple of Qing Yun sect, Yi Tian also knew something about it, but the monk didn't know what preparations Qing Yun sect had made for the opening of Tsangming Kingdom. Dun Tiansua flies quickly, while Yi Tian ponders, he has come to the camp of Qing Yun sect disciples. Yi Dao Yu, Qing Yun Zong has prepared 50 million Xian Yu to send to Dao Yu. He just wants to express his sincerity, and is willing to let Dao Yu out of the past and never be enemies. 
Dun Tiansuai is more than 100 zheng away from the Qingyun monk camp. When his speed drops a little, a middle-aged monk in front of the Jindanjing monk camp of Qingyun sect comes out and says in a loud voice. He was a big man with a dark complexion. By induction, his cultivation realm had reached the peak of the golden elixir realm, almost equal to that of Fan Tianjun. Yi Tianlu glanced at the man and saw a shumi ring in his hand. His eyes narrowed slightly and he said with a smile, send 50 million Xin Yu first, wait until that Sun Ming world is closed, and then take it back? Or what did you do on Xin Yu or Xiumi Ring, or follow Yi later? The friar's expression suddenly changed, and immediately returned to normal. He said with a smile, Yi Dao Yu is worried too much. This is really the sincerity of Qing Yun's sect and the meaning of our ancestors. Yi Xiaoyu, I apologize to you on behalf of Zhu Wu. It's all a misunderstanding before. Let's accept the sincerity of our sect and turn the fight into friendship. Sangming Boundary 3 Zhang Place, Qing Yun Zone the Jade Pu Realm of the Old Woman at this time said aloud. Misunderstanding? Yi Tian laughed and said, I said it was a misunderstanding before, but I can still justify myself. But, old godmother, your people are always chasing Yi and Sangming world, not because of your instructions? Nothing else. Show your cards. Yi is going to revenge today. Yi Dao Yu, don't think Qing Yun sect is any other small role. You can need it at will. It's not that Qing Yun Zong is afraid of you, but he doesn't want to fight with Dao Yu. On the contrary, he helps others in Song Ming world. The old woman's face was cold and she didn't speak anymore, but the dark-skinned friar said with a cold smile. After that, she waved her hand and said, prepare for a bloody battle. With his voice, dozens of monks behind him gesture one after another, only to see a shadow flashing, in an instant, there are more than 300 monks in front of the Qing Yun sect camp. No, not a monk. Yi Tian's eyes are slightly fixed on those figures. At first glance, these figures are very similar to real people, regardless of height or body shape, as well as a variety of looks. However, from these people, they couldn't feel the breath of monks, and they didn't even have a heartbeat, just like a dead thing. Yi Dao Yu, maybe you don't recognize this thing. It's the only puppet of martial spirit refined by our sect. Each one can give full play to the fighting power of Yu and Yingjing monks. In this Tsangming world, they should be invincible. Why do we have such treasures and make peace with our Taoist friends? It's just that this kind of martial spirit puppet needs the best fairy jade to drive, and Taoist friends naturally know the value of the best fairy jade. Therefore, in the face of meaningless gratitude and resentment, you don't have to pay too much, whether you are Taoist friends or your own clan. Seeing Yi Tian looking at the figures, the friar said. At this time, Yi Tian's eyes were shining through the sky, looking into the so-called soul puppet. There is no such thing in the square-inch spirit realm. Yi Tian has never seen a similar magic weapon before, so he is still very curious. In the light of Yu Tian's eyes, he saw that inside each puppet, there was a jade inlaid in a metal groove full of strange runes. Each part of the martial spirit puppet is made of different materials. Almost all kinds of runes are all over the body. There are a lot of fragmentary parts and a lot of soft materials inside. For example, the skin and hair of these puppets belong to some special soft material. If he doubt you doesn't believe in the strength of this kind of martial spirit puppet, I'll give you a demonstration. I can't see what he thought from Yi Tian's expression, the friar continued. As soon as the voice fell, one of the puppets suddenly moved, walked forward more than ten feet, and hit the underground bones with a fist. A strong force came out and hit the bones. All of a sudden, countless bones burst up and shot in all directions, and the direction of its fist hit, there has been a deep pit of three Zhang Square. This effect, indeed, has the strength of Yuan Ying Jing monks, but also in the early stage of Yuan Ying Jing. However, when Yi Tian's eyes shifted from the white bone pit to the ghostless puppet again, he unexpectedly found that the pure white color of the best fairy jade in the puppet's body was a little dim. It seems that the power consumed by this blow is not small. According to this level of consumption, Yi Tian roughly estimated that a top quality fairy jade could support the puppet to attack no more than 50 times. How about Yi Dao Yu? Are you confident that you can resist the siege of these puppets? What's more, our sect has the means to deal with those spirit insects of Dao Yu. Don't think we can win by relying on them. 
Seeing Etian's wandering eyes staring at the martial spirit puppet, he didn't know what he was thinking, so the monk spoke again with great satisfaction. Thank you for demonstrating to ye. I think I already know what this kind of puppet is about. However, these do not frighten ye, the debt must be paid, ye's revenge will begin immediately, if you can rival ye, this revenge will not be paid. If you can't do it, the sole puppet is yes at this time, Yi Tian moved his eyes from the puppet of the martial spirit, and said with a keen eye. Qing Yun sect, in order to stir up the fierce struggle between the barbarians and Xiu Yuan sect, regarded human life as a child's play, sent its disciples to try to kill themselves and the eight young barbarians. Damn! Outside the boundary of Tsongming, Emperor Wuzheng, the ancestor of Qing Yun sect, tried to kill himself by bullying the small with the big. Damn! Within the boundary of Tsongming, the disciples of Qing Yun sect had been chasing after themselves before. Damn! Since there are so many ways to take death, Yi Tian will not be soft-hearted. Yi Dao Yu, you can think about it. The best result is that all the jade and stone will burn, and it's very likely that Dao Yu will be here. Don't do things you regret. Seeing that Yi Tian had a tendency to start, the friar said in a hurry. Dai Tian said no more, and with a gesture, the fierce soldier's flying sword had already flown out of Dun Tianzua. Yi Tian, don't kill yourself. Outside the boundary of Tsongming, the old woman of Qing Yun sect, seeing this situation, couldn't help yelling. It can be seen that her face was already in a very anxious state. Yi Tian pays no attention to the old woman. He looks at more than 600 monks of Qing Yun sect who are waiting in front of him coldly. An idea is passed to the soul of Ziyun Dragon Sword. However, he sees the fierce sword flying under the control of the soul of the sword, and suddenly speeds up to shoot at the crowd. Do it! As soon as the leading monk of Qing Yun sect's pupil shrank and yelled, the monks behind him took out a silver shield-shaped magic weapon to protect his head. In an instant, more than 600 shields formed a semicircle, protecting the friars in the middle. Four or five of those puppets rose up in the air to meet the fierce sword, and their arms were open and their fingers were half bent. It seemed that they wanted to catch the fierce sword with empty hands. In addition, more than a dozen puppets of martial spirits, with their feet on the ground, turned into Dun Tianzua, who rushed to Etian like an electric light. The speed and dexterity of the movements are not inferior to the real friars in the early Yuan dynasty. Yi Tian's magic power hits Dun Tianzua, and Dun Tianzua speeds up suddenly. In a moment, he has avoided the attack of more than a dozen martial spirit puppets. In his eyes, these martial spirit puppets have become his own things. They can't be damaged, otherwise they will only lose themselves. The fierce swords that attacked the disciples of Qing Yun sect also flashed in the air and speeded up in a moment to avoid the coming puppets. Then, people suddenly turned around and chopped the disciple who negotiated with Yi Tian. At this time, dozens of puppets who had already been called by him were flying in the air again to catch the fierce soldiers with flying swords. The fierce soldier's flying sword retreated suddenly, once again avoiding the direct hard contact with the other side. Yi Tian, do you really want to fight to the end? At this time, the friar still reluctantly asked Yi Tian ha. Do you love the best fairy jade? Yi Ma wants to see, you can have how many top grade celestial jade to be able to consume. Yi Tian sneers, and suddenly a black cloud surges on his body. He has released more than 10,000 clematis, buzzing and vibrating above his head. Prepare to meet the spirit bug. The monk's face changed and he yelled. A cylindrical magic weapon appeared in his hand. The shield with a semicircular protective ring behind him suddenly flashed, and each of them staggered a gap. One by one, the magic weapon exactly the same as that of the monk came out of the gap. Yi Tian is not surprised that the other party is ready, but he still looks at those magic weapons that seem to be like a sieve in front of him. And the fierce soldier's flying sword had been cut down at this time. Boom! The fierce soldier's flying sword is no longer as powerful as these disciples in the golden elixir realm. When the sword was cleaved on the shield, the shield was immediately smashed and collapsed and the monks in it fell down. Because Qing Yun sect is good at refining weapons and mechanisms, Yi Tian naturally won't let the Iron Line Ants take risks out of thin air until he finds out the other party's means. At present, the only ones who are not afraid of the other party's means are the fierce flying sword and his own spirit fire. 
Therefore, Yi Tian should take this sword as the main attack method for the time being. Ah! Almost at the same time, his auxiliary means had worked. A cry of surprise came from the shield underground. One of the shields arched up, and a monk of Qingyun's sect had jumped out. Poisonous insects. Then another monk of Qingyun's sect called out, and the shield array was scattered. There are not many spirit insects in the shield array, only two of them are the four-step shadowless snakes. It takes a long time for the ant to fly from the air, so it is easy to become the target of attack. However, the shadowless snake is different. It has no trace, flexible mobility, and is absolutely a good weapon for sneak attack. The two four-step shadowless snakes stirred up the friar of Qing Yun sect in a moment. At this time, Yi Tian made another big move, and the mixed flame of Zheng Yang Holy Fire, Nirvana Fire, Original Spirit Fire and Samadhi Real Fire flew out of his elixir field, turned into a fire phoenix flapping its wings, and quickly flew towards the chaotic monk Qing Yun sect. The blazing heat distorts the void. Scatter! Feeling the terrible fire, the old woman of Qing Yun sect suddenly gave a loud drink. And at this time, the flame suddenly accelerated, and the phoenix's body scattered, turned into a vast, toward the lower cover. Some friars of Qing Yun sect, who were about to fly away, were forced to fall under the cover of the fire. At the next moment, in a few shrill cries, many silver shields disappeared one after another and the friars of Qing Yun sect had no choice but to put them away. Some of them touched the terrible flame and began to melt. The hot metal liquid dripping down, which made the friars of Qing Yun sect burn hard. A little smart, but no emotion of the flame, no matter how many, still under the control of Yi Tian continue to fall, fell on the bottom of the Qing Yun sect friar, many disciples instantly became a fireman, soared into the air, rolling helplessly in the air. This situation can only be described as tragic. Yi Tian. I'll kill you. Outside the boundary of Tsangming, the old woman roared, her wrinkled face twisted, and her eyes were full of vicious eyes. There are many people who want to kill Yi. They don't care about you. If you have the ability, just come and kill him. Yi Tianling snorts, and his mind moves. However, the fierce soldier's flying sword suddenly turns around and cuts down towards the leading monk at the top of the golden elixir. The man had been stunned by the fire, and he could not rescue his fellow disciples by his means. At this moment, the fierce sword had been cut to the end. He didn't even have time to command the soul puppet to protect himself, so he was cut in half by the flying sword. Yi Tian tidies up a move, the sumi caution on his hand moves to the hand. Fifty million fairy jade. Didn't you give it to yourself? Boom boom. At this time, a burst of noise suddenly broke out in the towering flame, and then the shrill scream sounded. Under the light of Yuan Tian's eyes, Yi Tian still saw the source of those sounds, which turned out to be the cylindrical magic weapons taken out by Monk Qing Yun's own. I don't know if it was the flame that touched the mechanism, or the friar of Qing Yun's sect mistakenly operated in his own confusion. In short, many cylindrical magic weapons were activated, and a lot of liquid and fine hair needles were ejected from a sieve-shaped section. In the dense crowd, both liquid and ox hair needle hurt their own classmates by mistake. It is obvious that both liquid and ox hair needle are highly toxic, and the corrosiveness of that liquid also surprised Yi Tian. Those who were stained with a drop of that kind of leaf days, muscle immediately began to fester, exposed the skeleton. Some friars were splashed with more liquid, but their breathing time had been reduced to a skeleton. What a vicious magic weapon! The leaf day in the heart a burst of happy, fortunately oneself didn't let the iron line ant go to attack, just put out to disturb each other's mind. Yi Tian is not sure if it will be damaged even if the fierce soldier's flying sword is contaminated with this liquid. Maybe the other side didn't want to expose the mace too early, so they didn't fight the fierce sword. Aware of this situation in the flame, Yi Tian's idea flashed, and the flame soared into the air, leaving the monks of Qing Yun sect. At this time, the original more than 600 Qing Yun sect disciples were injured by the fire and poison needle, but no more than 100 people were still rolling on the ground and did not die immediately. But look at that situation, they are beyond recognition. They are just surviving. Go, give them a ride. Yi Tian's mind moved, driving the fierce sword to cut in a flash. This battle was much shorter than the one in Zhang Yang Palace. More than 600 monks of Qingyun sect died on the spot, 
and no one was able to escape. After the killing of their master, more than 300 puppets with martial spirits have completely become motionless and dead. They have no movement to stand or lie down. Looking at the mess of the battlefield, Yi Tianzi ignored the reaction of those people from Qingyun sect outside the boundary of Sanming and began to clean the battlefield. One by one, he took them into Shumi commandment. Under his intentional protection, no one of the more than 300 puppets was injured. After that, Yi Tian selected the perfect Shumi precepts and collected them. Fortunately, his flame was collected in time. Otherwise, later, I was afraid that all Shumi precepts would be destroyed by the fire. Even so, at least half of the sutra has been destroyed, the space has collapsed, the runes have melted, and the objects can no longer be accessed. Soon after cleaning the battlefield, Yi Tian moves and steps on Dun Tianzuo. This time, instead of flying towards a sect disciple, he came to a deserted area in the middle of Tsangming Kingdom. The Central Area of Tsangming Boundary with the arrival of Yi Tian, there is a beautiful tower standing on the white bones. Around the tower, swarms of clematis flitted around, closely protecting the tower in the middle. On one side of the tower, two small transparent snakes, which could not be identified by naked eyes, were lying on the white bones, watching the surrounding movements with vigilance. At the top of the towering tower, a heartworm crawls there, flapping its wings from time to time, then turns a punch at the attachment and falls back again. At this time, Yi Tian sits cross-legged in the space-time tower, with a puppet of martial spirit in front of him. Yi Tian, who killed the friar of Qingyun sect, didn't continue to trouble any sect. He entered the time and space tower for the first time. There are 323 such puppets who can exert their strength in the early period of Yuanying kingdom. To get such a treasure, he naturally has to lay the brand of soul and take it as his own. Moreover, there is another reason to enter the space-time tower. Yi Tian's secret killing skill was broken by the powder, which made his important card unable to play a role. Although the two competitions with Qing Yun sect and Zhang Yang Palace Friars ended with complete victory, the two sects made all kinds of preparations to enter the Tsangming world, which made Yi Tian no longer underestimate any of the eight sections. Just like the previous battle with Qing Yun sect, if you are a little careless, you may make your own Taixian ants suffer losses. Once the Tsangming Kingdom is closed, I will face the crazy pursuit of those old monsters in Yupu realm outside the Tsangming Kingdom. I can't recover the hidden killing technique. I can't escape in front of the great friars in Yupu realm. You cannot use it when you restore the casting of a cult kill. It does not expose the fact that it has been restored, but it cannot be restored. Just taking advantage of his need to enter the time and space tower to do some things, Yi Tian put a few things together to do. Just like the martial spirit puppet in front of him, before the battle of Qing Yun sect, he had already observed that there was a spiritual fluctuation in the puppet's mind like a monk. It is an animal soul embedded in a puppet. After special treatment and stimulation, the animal soul will have fluctuations. Otherwise, it will be like a dead object without any fluctuations. This principle is similar to the spirit of the fierce flying sword, but there are also some differences. Maybe it is because of the refiner's own reasons that he can't make the spirit of the beast obey completely, so he uses some special means. As a result, this kind of martial spirit puppet has less agility of fierce soldiers and flying swords, but more concealment. The process of recognizing the Lord is very simple, just like the ordinary spirit beast recognizing the Lord. It only needs to mark the spirit on the spirit of the beast. Originally, Yi Tianlong's later cultivation in the Gate Realm was unable to imprint the spirit on the beast soul of the martial spirit puppet in Yuanying Realm. But now he has broken through to the peak of Longmen Realm, and his magic power has greatly increased. Although he is reluctant to imprint the spirit, he has overcome the difficulty. The beast spirit in the martial spirit puppet has only five levels of initial strength. When Yi Tian successfully marks his mind, he can't help but move in his heart. If you can improve your mind power again in the Tsangming world, then those five level later monsters in the spirit beast ring may be able to be driven by themselves without the need to fake Shen Run's power. Thinking about this, he longed for the flower of Hades and the soul Yuan in the Tsangming world. Time in Yi Tian's hurry, bit by bit in the past, he released a number of Liang Kong has always been transmitting the picture of the outside world. No clan was close to the central area, 
But he found a strange phenomenon that some disciples of the clan began to gather together and seemed to have a sign of joining hands. Yi Tian can ignore these, he continues to be busy with his own affairs. One by one, the martial spirit puppets are branded with the spirit by him. They are put away, and then they continue to be branded with the spirit by the next martial spirit puppet. At the same time, Yi Tian is not idle. He is always refining the power of pills to improve his mana. At a certain moment, Yi Tian stops after completing the image of a martial spirit puppet. So far, he has completed the identification of more than 160 martial spirit puppets, nearly half of the total. But now, from the picture sent back by the heartworm, he found that the situation outside was somewhat abnormal. It's not that someone is approaching him, but that there seems to be a conflict between those different forces. There are several groups of friars, as if they are going to fight. However, as soon as Yi Tian Lu observed it, he ignored it and took out another puppet. With the continuous imprinting of his mind, he has become more and more proficient in using it. Up to now, he has increased his speed to half an hour to complete an imprint, and now he can do it in about 10 minutes. According to his calculation, he stayed in the space-time tower for at least one day, while the outside time should be about 10 hours. A lot of things will happen in 10 hours. But these days, Yi Tian completely ignored, he tried to complete as much as possible the spirit of the soul of the puppet brand. As Yi Tian predicted, the outside world was not calm at this time. Outside the boundary of Tsongming, nine great friars of Yupujing, including Yi Chenggang, the ancestor of Li Huozong, are confronting the six great friars opposite. Among the six great monks, one is the ancestor of Duan family in Duanjian Villa, and the other is the ancestor of Leng family in Tijianmen. How many Taoist friends, are you so domineering? Do we even have to force them to join hands? The old ancestor of Duan family, who has entered the middle stage of Yupu realm, asked the great friar of Jioming Yupu realm coldly. The nine great monks were the ancestors of Taiman, Daikunman, Zuiwanjio, Zenwazon, Lihuozon, and Bajaman. Among the eight sects in Taiman Lingyu, all the six sects except Qingyun sect and Zhangyang palace have ancestors gathered here. The cause of the dispute between the two sides is that in view of the destruction of all the disciples of Qingyun sect in Zhangyang Palace Yuanyangjing, Yi Tian's revenge is obvious. The ancestors of the six major sects have reached a consensus that the six major sects join hands to deal with Yi Tian. But their alliance was more than that. According to the idea of the six major sects, all the monks who entered the Tsongming kingdom formed an alliance. As soon as the alliance of the six major sects was formed, the disciples of the six major sects who entered the Tsongming kingdom began to gather together and force the disciples of the other small forces to form an alliance. Some small forces have been forced to submit to the six major forces. However, Duanjian Villa, Tijianmen and the other two forces had formed an alliance for a long time. Later, they contacted two sects of the 27 forces and formed a small alliance of six sections. The alliance of the six major sects began to force the alliance of the six small sects in the Tsongming world, and the disciples of the six small sects had already been clearly stated by their ancestors that they would never be enemies with Yi Tian. As a result, the two sides are locked in a deadlock. It seems that if the disciples of Luxiazong don't agree to form an alliance, the disciples of Luda Changmen will probably have to fight. The total number of Jindanjing disciples in the alliance of the six major sects is more than 5,000 while the number of the alliance of the six minor sects is less than 2,000, only about 1780. If we really start, the Liaxiazongman alliance will surely suffer a heavy loss. If we don't get it right, all the disciples of Jindanjing who entered Tsangming kingdom will be destroyed. This kind of situation is absolutely not allowed to happen, so the six ancestors of the six small sects found the ancestors of the six large sects together. Only then did you have the question from the ancestors of the Duan family. Facing the questioning of the Duan family's ancestors, He Chen Gang, the ancestor of Li Huozong, said coldly, It's time for you to take a stand, Duan Leigue. Yi Tian is the public enemy of all sections. The cruelty of his means and the cruelty of his heart are shocking. Two disciples of Qing Yun sect in Zhangyang Palace were killed by them. The next step will be to encroach on each sect one by one. If all sects are not united, they will only be broken by each sect. Do you, Duanjian Villa and Tijianmen, want to enjoy the benefits of fishermen and watch other clans fight with Yi Tian? Do you want to preserve your strength? 
The old ancestor of Duan family waved his hand and said, He Dao Yu, don't confuse the public. It's only your eight sects that have enemies with E.T. on. What's the matter with us? Do you think I don't know your idea? It's just that you want the rest of the forces to rush in front and act as a scapegoat for death, and then you six main forces will reap profits, right? Hum, use the heart of a villain to measure the belly of a gentleman. Mr. Duan, do you think I don't know? Your Duanjian villa has been in collusion with Yi Tian for a long time, and you, Miss Duan's family and Duan Feishua, have already got an engagement with Yi Tian. For the self-interest of Duan's family, do you want to tie other families to the chariot of your Duanjian villa? He Chenggang took a look at the other six ancestors of Xia Zongmen and said with a cold hum. It's a very powerful sentence. Hearing what He Chenggang, the ancestor of Liu sect, said, the cold surnamed ancestor of Tijianmen, together with the other four ancestors of Xia Zongmen, looked suspiciously at the old ancestor of Duan family. They didn't immediately believe He Chenggang's words. Instead, they watched Duan's reaction and waited for a clear explanation. He Chenggang, when did my Shuer hook up with E. Tian? When did you have an engagement? You maliciously spread rumors and slander my Shuer, intending to tie up the alliance of our six sections. It's reprehensible. With a finger at He Cheng Gang, the old ancestor of Duan family said angrily. Then he looked at the ancestors of the five small sects, such as Tijianmen, you Taoist friends, don't listen to his nonsense. It's nothing. He Cheng Gang also sneered when he heard the words, the sun is empty? Mr. Duan, two days ago, when Mr. Shin of Zhengyang Palace searched for Yi Tian, Yi Tian was hiding in your Miss Duan's car. He just knew how to hide himself and didn't catch the original shape on the spot. Everyone knows that. If the Duan family and Yi Tian don't have an engagement, what are they doing in the car? Is it a pity? He Chung Gang, you are also the great friar of Yupu realm. Li Huozong is also the most important sect in the spiritual realm. It's a shame for the great friar of Yupu realm to say such dirty words. Today, I leave my words here. If you dare to fight against the alliance of our six sects, but I destroyed Wanjian Villa, I will take revenge on your six sects disciples. The old ancestor of Duan family suppressed his anger and said in a cold voice. Revenge? I will kill you today He Chingun's momentum burst out, and he was going to do it the next moment. The old ancestor of Duan's family had a flash of body shape, and he was already performing the big move skill. He disappeared from here on. He doesn't want to face the nine great friars of Yupujing in the six major schools with his own strength. What do you mean? Alliance or non-alliance Yi Chenggang did not go after the ancestors of the Duan family, but looked at the ancestors of the other five small clans. It is impossible to pursue and kill a great monk who has entered the middle stage of Yupu realm. The result is often fruitless. Alliance is not aligned, and the old man will not make decisions for the disciples of the Ming and Ming dynasties. They has the final say. However, if those disciples have any mistakes, I will never let go of the culprit. The cold ancestor of the Iron Sword Gate snorted. He also imitated the old ancestor of the Duan family and used the big move technique to leave the original place. We have the same attitude. With that, the other four ancestors of Xiazongmen also left here. A toast and a fine drink. Shen Tianfang snorted coldly and looked at the six major monks in Yupu. Those people nodded silently. This is a signal. As long as they don't interfere with the disciples in the sect, they will acquiesce in all their actions. This point has been made clear to the disciples of Tsangming Kingdom, including fighting against any force outside the six major sections. I'll give you the time for the last pillar of incense. If you don't agree to form an alliance, we'll regard you and Yi Tian as a group. Don't blame our six major sects for not being compassionate until you die. At the edge of Tsangming Kingdom, the friars of Jindanjing and the six major sects blocked the friars in the six minor sections one of them, who didn't know which sect, said arrogantly. Duan Dao Yu, if you really have a little friendship with that Yi Tian, can you let him do it in advance, or help us out? Having returned to the Iron Sword Gate, the ancestor surnamed Lang looked at the situation in front of him and said to the ancestor of the Duan family. Just now, the monk of Jindanjing asked, which made the monks of the six small sects look back at their ancestors, who were ten feet behind them. In fact, 
they were waiting for their ancestors to make a final decision. However, these ancestors knew that Yi Tian might be killed, but it would definitely make the people who besieged him pay a heavy price. Once they agreed to form an alliance, the friars outside the six major sects would definitely be cannon fodder and the first to be sacrificed. The mind of Liu Da's sect is just to use these people to consume Yi Tian, and then they finally collect the fruits of victory. Knowing Yi Tian from the previous battles, the ancestors of these sects knew that their disciples would definitely be destroyed by Yi Tian in a very short time. No matter its flying sword, spirit insect or flame, it's not what my disciples can resist. If you don't agree to the alliance, there is still a chance of life. If you agree, you will die. If the alliance does not follow the command of the alliance, then the ancestors of the six major branches even have a reason to do so. Lang Dao Yu, how do you know that Yi Tian will definitely go to the six major gates? He has been in the tower-shaped magic cave for so long, so he should be recovering his mana. Do you think he will still do it when facing the six big gates that have formed an alliance? In the eyes of the ancestors of the Duan family, the spirit flashed back. Well, what if we form an alliance with Yi Tian? Should Yi Tian be happy to accept it? Lao Tzu, surnamed Leng, continued to ask. Alliance with Yi Tian? Are you not afraid of the revenge of the Six Gates? The old ancestor of the Duan family asked in amazement. I can't take care of so much. The lives of my children matter. Let's talk about the rest then. The cold ancestor of Tijiam and Sidon said, the problem is how to talk about alliance with Yi Tian. There is hope for an alliance, but will the other four? The old ancestor of the Duan family pondered. I'll get in touch. With this sentence finished, the ancestor of Tijiam and began to talk to the other four ancestors. A moment later, he nodded to the ancestor of Duan family. The other four also nodded to the ancestor of Duan family. So you all agree to form an alliance with Yi Tian? The old ancestor of Duan family didn't know what they had said. He only saw that nodding his head didn't explain the problem, so he asked. Agreed. Those people have sent a message back, another patriarch of the sect said, after the Tsongning kingdom, our six families still form an alliance. In that case, if the six major sects want to fight us, they have to weigh it up. Well, I'll arrange it. It's convenient for you to send another two disciples into Tsongming. Hearing that they would send people in again, the five elders hesitated a little. If these people could not be saved, they would have two more lives. But after Duan finished, he just looked at them, didn't explain anything, just waiting for the final result. Well, that's it. The old ancestor of Tijianmen nodded first. After all, Duanjianshan Villa also needs to send people in. There should be no big mistake. Besides, it's cost-effective to exchange two lives for hundreds of people in each family, especially in the Tsongming world at this time. Soon, twelve of the six sects were selected. All of them were cultivation in the Golden Elixir realm, and there was only one nun among them. That's Duan Feishuai in Duanjian Villa. All right, everybody, go in. Looking at the distance of a pillar of incense time is not much, the section of the ancestors waved, let these selected disciples into the Tsongming world. Don't mess around, the six major sections. We have reinforcements. As soon as the twelve disciples entered the Tsongming kingdom, they gathered with the disciples of Liuxia Zongmen. The old ancestor of Duan family said coldly. Reinforcements? The leading negotiator of the sixth gate looked at the twelve people coming in, and his voice was a little disdainful but he didn't say anything to the great friar of Yupu realm outside. Everything is in the eyes. Duan Daoyu, each family sends two people. We can understand that you don't want the six major departments to see who is leading the contact with Yi Tian. However, why did the two disciples of Duanjian Villa not move all the time? After more than ten breath, the ancestor of the Iron Sword Gate asked with a frown. Don't worry, Yi Tian has come. The old ancestor of Duan family said with a smile. The ancestor of the Iron Sword sect quickly let go of his mind. As expected, he found that Yi Tian had put away the tower-shaped magic weapon cave, and was driving the flying magic weapon to come here quickly. Duan Daoyu, don't you think Shuer really has an affair with Yi Tian? 
How do I feel that it's flying snow who has hooked him up? The old ancestor of the Iron Swordgate said with a smile. Well, Schwer and he really don't have an affair, but I have an affair with him. You can tell me how I broke through to the midterm, thanks to Etian. If you want to break through to the midterm, you can make friends with Etian. But don't think about using force. The old monsters of the eight sects are ready-made examples. The old man snorted. What? Is it Yi Tian? What's going on? The ancestor of Tijianman had already entered Yupu and had not broken through for many years. When he heard the news, his eyes lit up. It's time for a stick of incense. I'll wait for your final answer, but I've thought about it. Sangming Boundary, at this time, the leader of the Six Major Door Alliance suddenly opened his mouth and asked aloud. Yetian. Yetian is coming. Did not wait for six small clan alliances person to reply, six big clans suddenly someone yelled. Hearing this, the leader of Liuxia Zongman Alliance quickly let go of his mind. Then he said to the friars in front of Liuxia Zongman, if you join the alliance, it's still time for everyone to advance and retreat together. If not, even if we don't do it, Yi Tian will do it. If it's not our alliance then, don't blame us for not saving us. No one in Liuxia Zongman League spoke, but expressed his attitude in silence. Go. Sensing that Dun Tiansua was getting closer and closer, the leader gave a low drink. Finally, he did not dare to fight against Liuxia Zongman alliance at the dangerous moment when Yi Tian came. Instead, he took the friars of the alliance to fly to the distance along the edge of Tsongming Kingdom. Some forces who had agreed to join the alliance were gathering there. Go ahead with the plan. The leader is a monk of Li Huozong, and the other five major sects each have a principal disciple. Six people form the decision-making level of the alliance, while the leader of Li Huozong is the general person in charge of gathering other forces to form an alliance. Because here, Li Huozong has the largest number of people and the strongest strength. At this time, the principal of the six major departments gathered together and discussed in a low voice. The plan is ready-made, it's just a matter of when to implement it. Soon, the six major sects reached a consensus, and the leader of Huozong flew to a group of small power allies. Hu Tuzong. He yelled and said, your clan has the strongest defense. You should take the lead first. This is also the time to show the sincerity of your alliance. Qin Daoyu, why are we Hu Tuzong? Should Hu Tuzong die? We are forced to make an alliance with you. If you want us to die, please forgive Hu Tuzong for not obeying orders. A tall middle-aged friar of Hu Tuzong retorted immediately. The leader of Li Huozong was called Qin Lang. After hearing the words, Qin Lang sneered, did you force you? Didn't you agree to form an alliance? To form an alliance without obeying orders is to rebel against the alliance, and to be killed according to the rules of the alliance. With that, Qin Lang made a gesture, and a blazing flame rushed out to burn the middle-aged monk. With this action, many monks behind him also used magic weapons to kill the disciples of Hu Tuzong. We follow orders. The tall disciple of Hu Tuzong yelled and flashed aside to avoid the flames of Qin Lang. At the same time, a flying sword stopped the long gun that stabbed Hu Tuzong. Why should we know the current affairs early? Qin Lang stopped with a gloomy face, flashed aside and made way. Come with me. With a wave of his hand, the leading disciple of Hu Tuzong flies out with less than 400 Jindanjing disciples of his clan, and greets Yi Tian in the direction where he came. You. You. You all go up. After the people of Hu Tuzong left, Qin Lang pointed to the other ten big and small forces in turn and distributed them out. With the warning that Hu Tuzong was nearly killed, these named forces did not dare to refute and followed the friars of other sections. Although there are not many people in each faction, there are more than 5,000 or 6,000 of them, which is comparable to the number of the six major leagues. Let's go, too. Qin Lang nodded to the leaders of the other five sects, and the other five also nodded. They knew each other by heart and led the disciples of their respective sects to fight. Sensing that the people of Liachainman gave up pestering the people of Duanjian Villa and left there, Yi Tian on Duntiansuo began to slow down. Not all of his puppets have recognized their masters. So far, there are 170. 
If it wasn't for seeing Duan Feishu as suddenly enter the Tsangming realm and be surrounded by the six major gates, he wouldn't be too nosy. At present, he had guessed the intention of the six main gates, and looked at the monks who had fled, with a look of pondering on his face. Yi Dao Yu, we are the disciples of Hutuzong. We were coerced by the six major sects to form an alliance, so we had to submit. In fact, we don't want to be enemies with Yi Dao Yu. This time, Hatuzong and Yi Dao Yu stand aside and ask Yi Dao Yu to accept us. All of a sudden, a divine voice sounded in his ears. Yi Tian didn't pick it up. He realized that it was the friar who was flying in the front. There were more than 300 people behind him. Later, from a long distance, he was the next group of friars. Yi Tian naturally met the people of Hutuzong. When he first entered the Tsangming kingdom, Yi Tian tried to find out whether they were enemies or friends, and met the people of Hutuzong. They are okay. They take a evasive attitude towards Yi Tian and don't mean to be embarrassed. After Yi. However, if you want to form an alliance, you must have a nomination certificate. Yi Tian already had an idea in his heart and then said. We will hand in what kind of registration you need. The tall monk nodded slightly and responded. Come here first, and follow Yi to kill the friars on one side of the six major sects alliance. Yi Tian said. I understand. While talking, the monks of Hutuzong had come near. They walked a little distance and stood more than ten feet behind Yetian, which was also to avoid suspicion. The sudden revolt of the monks of Hutuzong made a group of monks in the back of the group, but then they sped up and fled. Yi Dao Yu, we are friends but not enemies. Under the duress of the six major sects, we have to form an alliance with them. We don't want to be enemies with Yi Dao Yu. The disciples of Ziyun Pavilion are neutral. I hope Dao Yu don't fight. There are more than 300 friars in the second group. Before the round-faced friar in the first group arrives, the voice has come. Neutral? Yi Tian eyebrows slightly a pick to say, neutral, retreat five hundredly. Before the end of Songming Kingdom, you are not allowed to enter the five hundredly area around Yi, otherwise it will be dealt with by the enemy. But how did the Taoist friends of Hutuzong stand there? The fat friar of Purple Cloud Pavilion hears speech one laying ground to ask away. They are allies, you are neutral, that's the difference. Yi Tian said without expression. Can we form an alliance with Ziyun Pavilion? Fat Friar at this time will come to Yi Tian near, he looked at the Black Pressure Friar behind him, said in a hurry. If they really stand 500 miles away, as Yi Tian said, they will certainly face the crazy revenge of the Six Main Gate Alliance. They will even deal with Ziyun Pavilion directly instead of fighting with Yi Tian. Stand back. Yi Tian doesn't have a bad impression on the Friar of Ziyun Pavilion. Since other people have agreed to form an alliance, he naturally won't be deliberately embarrassed. A word just finished, the fierce sword in Yi Tian's hand flew up, suspended outside Dun Tianzuo. Then four kinds of mixed flames flew out of the elixir field, burning in front of the flying sword, sending out a terrible high temperature. Then, a black cloud surged on his body, and tens of thousands of fourth-order clematis were buzzing around his head. The next moment, he did not stop, 170 Yuan Ing Jing martial spirit puppets appeared out of thin air, suspended in front of Dun Tianzuo. Such a movement, the speed of the group of friars who came to flee suddenly decreased, and a cry came directly, Yi Tai and Deo, the gone family of Jinning City, come to surrender. Surrender? Yi Tianxiang held back his smile and waved to the friars at the front. The speaker was just a friar at the front of the procession. Because he was nervous, he didn't know how to express his words for a moment, so the word surrender came out Yun Luo Mountain also turned to the truth. Wu Shanggu also surrendered. Several groups of monks in the back saw the situation in the middle of the way. They had made a decision along the way. Seeing the devastating attack that Yi Tian might send out at any time, they cried out in a hurry for fear that it would be too late, and many means would attack them in the next moment. The voice of surrender is very noisy and Yi Tian can't tell who yelled. In a word, these are the monks outside the six main gates. Yi Tian greets them all and lets them stand behind him. It's against you. Seeing the sudden changes ahead, the friars of the six major sects could not help sinking in their hearts, and Qin Lang's face became extremely ugly. 
What shall we do? The team of the six sects alliance slowly stopped, and the other five sects leading disciples gathered around Qin Lang and looked uneasily at Yi Tian camp. This result is unexpected. No one thought that the disciples of the small clan were not afraid of implicating their own clan, and they openly betrayed the alliance of the six major clans here. In fact, they don't know each other's psychology for a moment. Survival is an instinct in the situation of death. Those people have no time to think about how to deal with the aftermath in the future. At least, I saved my life at this moment, and I still have a chance to survive in the future. Withdraw first. Listen to Lao Tzu seeing that the number of Yi Tian's friars is equal to that of the six major sects alliance in a twinkling of an eye, plus Yi Tian, Xin Lang has no fighting spirit. He said in a hurry and took his disciples to flee to the edge of Tsongning Kingdom. The other friars of the five major sects would not stay here foolishly. They retreated like wind in clouds. Chase. Those who do not participate in the pursuit of the clan, ye according to the six large door under cover disposal. All the booty gained by those who take part in the pursuit shall belong to individuals. At the right time, Yi Tian gave a loud shout. The fierce soldier flying sword, more than 10,000 fourth order wire ants, 170 puppets of Yuan Yingjing's martial spirits, and the terrible mixed fire suddenly moved to chase and kill the disciples of the six main gate alliance. His Dun Tian Sua was also a flash of lightning. The five or six thousand monks behind him follow Yi Tian's figure and go after him at full speed. Here, the law is not responsible for the public, and the spoils are all owned by individuals. No one will be so stupid as to stay in place and not participate in the pursuit, and then wait for Yi Tian's bloody revenge. Yi Tian's means, these people now think of it as still scared. There are five thousand or six thousand people on each side, and the scuffle of more than ten thousand people. How many of the ancestors of the six major branches can remember? There are several kinds of existence that are almost invincible in the Tsongming world ahead. They are afraid that they will slow down and get less booty. As for the sixth patriarch? We all have the ancestors of Yupujing. How dare the six major sects fight at the same time with so many great monks in Yupujing? Defeat like a mountain. In the face of many big killers, the friars of the six major sects didn't want to fight at all. They all ran for their own lives and no one cared about the lives of others. Even some of the monks had all kinds of cards, but they didn't show them. Facing the irresistible offensive, who will turn back to resist, to meet him can only be the end of destruction. Even if they ran away, the monks who fell behind still could not escape the favor of death. The fierce swords bear the brunt of the attack. When the cold light is cut, one monk falls, and then another monk falls. The three-color fire phoenix followed and the place where it was said was full of grief. Occasionally, the fire phoenix showed its power and turned into a billow flame, trapping hundreds of monks in the sea of fire at one time. Then there are 170 puppets of the martial spirit in Yuanying realm. Facing a group of monks in Jindan realm, if they enter into a no-man's land, a monk will fall down. Then they take off the spirit beast ring and shumi ring from the monk's hand and put them on their hands. More than 10,000 of them evaded the fire phoenix and went after the six monks who escaped from the crowd and fled in other directions. Although the speed of killing friars is slower than that of fierce soldiers flying swords, fire phoenix, and martial spirit puppets, the process of killing friars is the most tragic because of its slowness. Even some friars would rather be cut off by fierce soldiers flying swords, burned into coke by fire phoenix, and killed by a puppet of martial spirit, rather than be devoured by wire ants. As a result, there were fewer and fewer monks who left the team, and they all ran away with the big team. At a certain moment, Yi Tian's mind moved, and the fierce sword flashed. He shot straight ahead from the high altitude, crossed the front friar, and turned back to kill mercilessly. Fire Phoenix is also closely followed, followed by more than 100 Yuan baby realm of the soul of the puppet. In addition to 10,000 Clematis, Yi Tian's mace was all intercepted in front of the six major monks, and in turn killed them. When the friars who originally fled in front of them were complacent, they now became the first targets. No one was willing to face the existence of terror. In a moment, these people turned around and ran back. One is positive and the other is negative. The friars of the six major sects have become two groups of people, and the situation is much more chaotic than before. 
But at this time, Yi Tian's Dun Tianshua suddenly accelerated, turned into a streamer, and directly bumped into the crowd of the six main gates. Bang! 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 In the dense sound of impact, Dun Tianshua was like chopping waves, and many figures were knocked around. Seeing that Yi Tian and his assassin's mace were all killed to the front of the line, the six major monks who responded turned around and fled back. In front of him, however, were the small sect monks who had followed Yi Tian closely. This is the end of the ride. All the power of Yi Tian has left here. They directly faced the surging six monks. With a bang, the two sides collided, and the war was imminent, forming a situation of scuffle. Of course, Yi Tian did it intentionally. If there is no life and death feud between Xia Zongmen and Lutafangmen, it is impossible for both sides to really tear their faces apart. If we can't share a common hatred with the enemy, those small sects are just like a pack of scattered sand. They never have the chance to unite. If we do not unite, we will work independently, and the six major branches will always cover the sky. Yi Tian is creating such an opportunity. It's not easy to resolve the blood feud between the disciples of Xiaozong sect and those of Changda sect. From now on, Yi Tian has started to lay out for breaking away from Tsangming world. If you can make use of the great friar of Yupu and Xiaozongmen, he will not miss this opportunity. The fighting between Lutachangmen and Xiaozongmen is totally different from the means of facing Yi Tian. As soon as they collided with each other, many spirit beasts were released one after another by the friars of the six major sections. And the monks of the small clan also released some monsters and spirit insects. Just the number of monsters, both sides added together, there are more than 1,000, all are four-level monsters. And there are at least thousands of spirit insects. The war situation changed from the simple battle of friars to the mixed battle of man and beast. Those spirit insects and monsters must be powerless in the face of Yi Tian, and they can't play much role. However, in order to protect their lives, the friars of the six major sects can't care so much. Seeing the appearance of spirit insects and monsters, Yi Tian was a little surprised. When 170 Yuanning Jing puppets started, they focused on the monks with spirit beast rings on their hands. Moreover, they had captured many spirit beast rings, and there were so many monsters. You know, now it's just the Tsangming world that inspires and erupts Tsangming orders, not the real opening of Tsangming world. After the opening of Tsangming Kingdom, it is impossible to open the cave or the ring of spirit beast. That is to say, those friars had made so many preparations to fight for Tsangming order. What kind of secret is hidden in Tsangming world? Is there really only Pluto flower and Sol Yuan? Will there be other secrets that few people know? This idea flashed through Yi Tian's mind. He quickly recruited a puppet from Yuan Yingjing. When he pressed his hand gesture on him, a small door immediately opened in front of the puppet's chest. Yi Tian moved again, took out the best fairy jade that had turned gray inside, and replaced it with a powerful one. In such a short time, the power of the best fairy jade in the soulless puppet was almost exhausted. If Yi Tian didn't see this through Yuan Tianian, it's likely that the puppet would become a dead thing in the middle of the fight. What a money-burning thing! With a sigh, Yi Tian recalled all the puppets and began to replace the best fairy jade. Those puppets who have been replaced with the best fairy jade continue to join the battle group and continue to kill the enemy. The scuffle only lasted for a very short period of time. The six disciples who got the relief from the spirit insects and monsters changed their direction and fled in another direction. Before, in front of them were 5,000 or 6,000 people from Xiaozongmen, and behind them were Yi Tian with all kinds of terrible things. At one end of the two sides are more than 10,000 wire ants. In the whole battlefield, the only gap left is the direction they are fleeing. However, some lucky six major disciples just escaped less than 10 li but suddenly they saw a group of friars in front of them appear from the horizon and fly here like lightning. Duanjian Villa, Taijian Gate, Yunxiao Mountain, Longhu Island, Sanxianzong, Changfeng Sect. Do you want to be the enemy of the six major sects? From seeing the figures to approaching the crowd, it took only a few minutes for the two sides to fly away. Xin Lang had already seen who these people were and immediately cried out. What do you say to be the enemy or not? In Tsangming's field, each one is responsible for his own ability, and death or injury is his own responsibility. 
forget how you forced us before? Some people in the opposite crowd yelled, and then they stopped. Many magic weapons flew out of the crowd and killed the remaining monks of the six main gates. However, the 1700 people of the six small clans did not mean to fight with the six large clans. They only used this method to attack from a distance and stop them. Go! The cold light in Qin Lang's eyes flashed, but he cried out helplessly. He passed through the other side's unclosed gap and fled forward. The friars of Liuxia Zongmen hid from behind and joined Yi Tian's line to pursue Lia Chainman. Duan Dao Yu, you don't have to take risks. Yi Tian's figure flashed and came to Duan Feishuai in the crowd. He frowned and said. Yi Dao Yu, the family ancestors have orders. Duanjian Villa, Tijianmen, Yunxia Mountain, Longhu Island, Sanxianzong, Chengfeng School and Dao Yu go forward and retreat together. See Yi Tian appear, Duan Feishuai face showed the color of joy, Yan Ba flow to see Yi Tian one eye, quickly said. Your ancestors are not afraid of the revenge of the eight sects? Yi Tian asked in surprise. Duanjian Villa and the eight sects have turned against each other, so we must take advantage of this opportunity to find more allies. Jazu's idea is that it's time for the 27 small sects to join hands to deal with the six major sections. Duan Feishuai said frankly. Well, it's time to be tough. It's easy to be timid because you have too many scruples. I hope this time, you can break the power pattern of time and spirit realm. Yi Tian nodded slightly, said A, then continued to pursue and kill the remaining friars of the six major sections. There are more than 5,000 disciples in Liuda sect, which has lost nearly 40% of the total. The rest of them are just running away. The monks in Yi Tian's camp, because of the alliance of six small sects in Taijin Villa, have reached 8,000. If it goes on like this, it should be over soon. Just after more than 10 miles away, Yi Tian on Dun Tiansua suddenly stops. The picture that the heartworm sent back to his mind surprised him, and his face changed. At the edge of Tsangming Kingdom, countless skeletons and skeletons came out of nowhere. A mighty army of skeletons and skeletons was rushing into Tsangming Kingdom and flying towards themselves. Everyone stopped chasing and gather. Yi Tian immediately gave a big drink, and his mind moved. He called back the fierce sword, the puppet of Yuan Yingjing, Yuan Yuan Linguo, and more than 10,000 Taishan ants. Then he covered them with his mind and focused on the white skeleton army with tens of thousands of people. More than a thousand miles away, with each other's speed, we should be able to get here soon. There were also other friars who found the white skeleton army. Seeing such a large number of white skeleton, the friars of Ziazongman gathered in a hurry had an obvious disturbance. This sudden situation caused a lot of confusion in the friars' team. At this time, outside the boundary of Tsangming, there was chaos. More than 20 great friars of Yupujing and Ziazongman have stopped seven or eight tall skeletons and are fighting. On the other side, there are more than a dozen people who have joined the white bones and skeletons. They are the ancestors of the eight sections. Mr. Good, you're so good at colluding with the ghost kingdom to betray the Terran. And you, the seven great sects, have no respect for honesty and disgrace, and are in the same boat with Tai sect. In the fierce fight, an old man asked aloud that it was Duan's ancestor of Duanjianmen. Gu Leigui of Taiyiman didn't join the battle group. At this time, his face was very pale, his spirit was a little depressed, and his breath was confused. At first glance, his injury was not light. Outside the regiment, he said coldly, there are no superior races in this world. It's all for self. My disciples are deep in the Tsangming world. What can I do if I seek help from other races? Mr. Duan, you 27 sects unite with Yi Tian, the little devil, to fight against the disciples of the eight sections. I'm taking revenge on you. What do you have to do with the ghost kingdom? Shen Tian Fang, the founder of Zhang Yang Palace, also said with a loud shout. Although he said so, he was fighting with a tall skeleton side by side with two Yupu monks on the opposite side, and it was obvious that he was in the upper hand. On Mr. Duan's side, all the ancestors of the 27 small sects gathered together. From the time these sects joined hands with Yi Tian, they had already gathered together to discuss how to deal with the eight sects together. Otherwise, if they didn't make preparations, they would be defeated by each one. But at present, 
Although there are many great friars in Yupujing on their side, there are as many as 19 great friars in Yupujing among the eight sects, and there are eight white bones who are equal to the fighting power of the great friars in Yupujing of the human race, and the number on both sides is just the same. However, on the side of the eight sects and the white skeleton, the great friars in the middle period of Yupu kingdom were obviously more than the ancestors of the 27 small sections. Generally speaking, the 27 small sects were in the inferior position. When the 27 ancestors of the Xiaozong clan were fighting against their opponents and worried about their disciples in the Tsongning kingdom, suddenly ripples appeared in the sky, and the aura fluctuations were extremely obvious. In this case, it is obvious that a large number of great friars of Yupu kingdom came here. Back. The old ancestor of Duan family seems to have become the leader of the 27 patriarchal clan. With a loud shout, his figure moved to hundreds of miles away. The rest of them immediately took their own measures, left the regiment and went with him. Everyone knows that the 27 great friars of Yupujing in his camp have all arrived. The coming great friars are from the eight sects or the ghost kingdom. No matter which side it is, it's not good for the 27 sect alliance. But when they saw the 10 people coming out of the aura ripple, they had a confused look on their faces. They didn't know whether they were enemies or friends. King Najiman, the people and the barbarians have always been free from both the river and the well. Why did they come here today? Seeing these people who came here with the great move skill in the sky, the great friar of Yupujing and Batazongman was also obviously stunned. Shen Tianfan looked up at a very big man and asked. Shen Tianfan was at least too tall. He was thick and strong, with a necklace made of unknown bones around his neck. A tiger skin skirt was tied around his waist, and a leopard skin jacket was slanted through one arm, covering half of his shoulder, revealing two thick brown arms with strong muscles. Shen Tian recognized that he was the supreme ruler of the barbarians, the king of countless barbarians. Naji Gadian, the king of barbarians. Manwine glanced at Shen Tian Fang and said in a gruff voice, It's very busy here. I'll come to see it. Go on. With these words, the king did not say a word more. He took the other nine big barbarians who were almost the same dress and flew to the distance, as if he really did not want to pay attention to the fight here. However, Manwan's sudden arrival stopped the fierce war. No one believed that he just came to see the excitement. But no one really knows his specific purpose. Once both sides are defeated, who can guarantee that the strong barbarians will not take advantage of the fishermen? The ancestors of the 27 small clans, who had been fighting with the eight clans in the ghost kingdom, were already in a low position, and some unstable factors were added. The strong barbarians had no intention, so they would not take the initiative to start a war. The great friars of Yupujing of the eight sects gathered together and discussed with the skeletons of the ghost kingdom for a while, but they did not continue to take any action. The great friars of the two camps discussed the matter and paid attention to the movement of Man Wang. At the same time, they also watched the situation of the White Bone Army in Songming. Among them, the most ugly one was the ancestor of 27 small clans, but the ancestor of 8 big clans, with a grim smile on his face. It's over this time. The 8 sects are in collusion with the ghost world. I'm afraid our disciples can't escape this disaster. The ancestor of the 27 small sect, Feeling the situation in the Tsongming world, said the ancestor of the Iron Sword sect with a gloomy look. If we had known such a situation, we would not have wanted to get involved in it, even if the Tsongming kingdom was open once every 10,000 years. When Yen, the rest of the people are silent, everyone knows that in the face of so many White Bones army, no matter how fierce Yi Tian is, he must be weak. Only Duan's ancestors in Duanjian vilicide. Those disciples are hopeless. Now it's better to work out a strategy to face the counterattack of the eight sections. Another great monk of the sect reminded him with a gloomy look. I understand why there are so many white bones here. They are all the bones of the underworld. Within the boundary of Sunming, Yi Tian murmurs when he looks at the white bone army of the underworld beyond his sight. At this time, he has sensed that all he can feel among the tens of thousands of white bones and skeletons are the realm of Hades. Tens of thousands of Hades are equivalent to tens of thousands of golden elixirs. This power can't be underestimated. What's more, the remaining monks of the six major sects who have already escaped have stopped their escape. 
After reorganizing their ranks, they stand and wait. There are nearly 3,000 of these monks, and they may come back at any time. The next moment, E.T. on gesture move, one after another released a dozen magic weapon cave, quickly enlarge, in front of a line. Each magic weapon cave is majestic, occupying a large area. More than a dozen of them are connected together to form a natural barrier, which is on the way of innumerable matio. So many magic weapons cave? Seeing this, the friars of the 27 sect were shocked. With these magic weapons, the cave is a barrier, the scene of countless white bones and skeletons rushing by will no longer exist. At least it will give them a buffer time. If not, all of them will go into the magic weapon cave and let Yitian take it with him and sit on the flying magic weapon. The underworld army will have nothing to do. Life's hope suddenly appears, they immediately group feeling rippling, looking at Yitian's eyes have different. It's a god-like existence. Always in a crisis, give them hope. However, there is no fight with the underworld, and no one shamelessly proposes to enter the magic cave. Even if they say that, they think Yi Tian may not agree. Yi Tian is affectionate, and is a person who looks up to him. Yi Tian is also cold, and he is cruel to those enemies. But for cowards no one wants to be a coward. However, the next moment, they realized that maybe Etian didn't just want to use the magic hole to resist the white skeleton army. Because originally thought is vacant magic weapon cave, but from one out of eight people. These people's dress is not strange to them. They are barbarians. Naji, on the way to send you back to the barbarians, he was chased by the eight sects and forced to enter the Tsungming kingdom. Now he is facing the encirclement and killing of tens of thousands of white bones and skeletons of the underworld. Yes life and death are hard to predict. So according to the previous promise, I will release you to the magic weapon cave. I hope you will not be involved in you. Out of the magic cave, Naji and others suddenly see so many monks in front of them. In a daze, Yi Tian's voice has entered his ears. Sensing that the army of white bones and skeletons was getting closer and closer, and looking at these well-prepared human friars, Naji Yak immediately understood the situation in front of him. As soon as he put his big stick in his hand, he said in a gruff voice, What's the matter, brother Yi Tian? We'll help you to kill the enemy. Shock! At this time, outside the boundary of Songming, the man Wang, who was originally expressionless and leisurely, suddenly saw Naji Yak's figure. He could not help shaking his body and calling out. The next moment, with a flash of body, he came to the ancestors of the eight sects and the white bones and skeletons. His voice was loud and he said, You withdraw all your hands, barbarian princes. If there is any mistake, I will destroy you all. You old mummy, don't you hear me? Nan Wang finished, and before the other side had any reaction, he burst into a fist and blasted a white skeleton in front of him. The white skeleton sent out a strange smile, and his voice was very hoarse. His whole skeleton exploded with a roar, and he beat the king with the breath of terror. The other white skeleton beside him was a white one. His arm suddenly soared and his fingers stabbed the king like a gun. A big stick suddenly came in the air and hit the white bone arm. The momentum was also extremely shocking. But another strong barbarian came to help. However, no matter what the arm was, Man Wang also held a big stick in his hand and sealed the white bones. Those bones, with one stroke, suddenly turned back to the skeleton. Man Wang, it's over there. At this time, the other eight strong barbarians had already flashed to the front, and one of them said aloud that his voice was very similar to that of the king of barbarians, and they were all extremely rough and crazy. Tae Siong. The man king gave a big drink, and then he said a few words. The strong man of the big barbarian who had spoken before agreed, and immediately disappeared from the original place. At the same time, there was a tall skeleton on the side of the white skeleton, and the white light left here in a flash. Kill. After the barbarian strongman named Taesion left, the barbarian king yelled and fought with the other eight strongmen, attacking the rest of the bones. Hum, Man Wang, how dare you go to the Terran territory? Is there no one to bully the Terran friars? Shen Tianfang snorted and joined the regiment. The rest of the Yupujing friars of the eight sects also began to attack Man Wang and his party by various means. 
On the other hand, the ancestors of the 27 small clans saw such a good opportunity and agreed after a little discussion. Manwang Daoyu, I'll come to help you. The old ancestor of the Duan family gave a big shout and came with the rest of the Yupu monks of the alliance in a flash, but the target was the ancestors of the eight sects here. It's a golden opportunity. It's rare to have strong barbarians to help. If you don't take this opportunity to kill some of the eight sect monks, you will be in a very dangerous situation in the future. It's hard for the great friars in Yupu to see life and death. They fight together here, and the battle group gradually expands, so that half of the sky is full of fierce fighting figures. It seems that it will be over for a while. At this time, Yi Tian's camp was also at war with countless white bones and skeletons. The war broke out in full swing. Inspire! Yi Tian Shashin usually stands in the middle of Dun Tian Sua. He gives a big drink. Immediately, on the top of the 14 magic weapon caves, a row of monks excite Yuan Ing Fu. There are more than 200 friars in this row. 200 Yuan infant runes are activated at the same time. All kinds of attacks of more than 200 Yuan infant runes hit the white skeleton. Yi Tian originally released 15 magic cave, but after he let Duan Fei Shue into one of them, he put the magic cave away. This attracted the envious eyes of many nuns present. More than 200 fierce attacks hit the skeletons, and the roaring sound was heard all the time. Those white bones and skeletons in the front were attacked by terrorists, and they suddenly turned into countless pieces of white bones. The attack formation was immediately blocked and collapsed. Let it go again. Keep playing. Yi Tianko repeatedly orders that the monks who have been ready come to the magic cave one by one to stimulate the Yuanying rune. These Yuanying runes were brought by 27 disciples of Xiaozongmen. In order to reduce the casualties, the ancestors of Xiaozongmen also paid enough. After more than 10 rounds of Yuanying Fu, countless white bones and skeletons have been blown to death in front of the magic weapon cave. The piled up white bones and skeletons have caught up with the height of the magic weapon cave. After more than a dozen rounds of Yuanying runes were released, the Yuanying runes in the hands of these friars had been exhausted. Yi Tian's expression was cold at this time, and he yelled again, release the monster. Don't disobey your orders. The friars who carried the monsters unreservedly released all the monsters, and more than a thousand fourth order monsters flew out to meet the white skeleton army. At the same time, a flash of fire, Yi Tian released his phoenix fire. 170 puppets of Yuanian kingdom have entered the white skeleton team. Under the control of the soul of Xianlong, the fierce flying sword cuts the white skeleton army in a flash. Yi Tian's Dun Tiansua also turned into a flash of lightning and rushed to the white skeleton team. The scene is getting more and more chaotic. According to Yi Tian's command, all the 27 friars of the small sect killed the skeleton behind the barrier of the magic weapon cave. These friars knew very well that at this critical moment, they had to fight to the death. Once you leave the army, you will be killed by the skeleton. Even in the Tsangming world, there are more than 1,000 or 2,000 ownerless monsters. Those monsters were originally brought in by the disciples of the eight sects and sent out to fight. However, after the death of the master, these monsters scattered everywhere and wandered in groups in the Tsangming world, not belonging to any party's power. But the number of them is definitely a potential safety hazard. Although these friars fought bravely to kill the enemy, there were too many white bones and skeletons, and there was a momentum of endless killing. It's hopeless. Just when the morale of these friars dropped a little, we suddenly heard someone shout, the rear of the white bone army is in chaos, they have been attacked. After hearing this, many monks let go of their thoughts. As expected, they found that the rear army of the white bones and skeletons was in chaos. Many of the white bones and skeletons gave up the forward attack and rushed back. But strangely, these people didn't find any reinforcements on their side. It must be Yi Daoyo's means. You don't have to worry. The war situation is completely under Yi Daoyo's control. Exclaimed a friar excitedly. What a fart! Hearing this cry, Yi Tian and Dun Tiansua could not help frowning and murmuring. He did not know the direction of the war, but did his best. In the distance, there are more than 3,000 friars of Jindanjing in the eight sections. They don't know when they will join the regiment. 
He came out of the ghost world, but he knew how large the number of meditation in the ghost world was. If this group alone is okay, what about three, five, ten, and eight more? Who has the ability to gather all the golden elixir monks in time and spirit realm here to fight together? He just let out the dead, the disciples of the Holy Wing Clan, the twenty retinues and his own disciples of the golden elixir realm who had been practicing in the magic weapon cave to make them invisible and harass. He just made some confusion, and could not cause much casualties to the skeleton in a short time. This is also a life and death experience. If you always practice in the magic cave, how is it different from the flowers in the greenhouse? When these people practice in the magic cave, they not only improve their cultivation level, but also devote themselves to the cultivation of hidden killing. Although their attainments in this kind of magical power are worse than those of Yutian, they can still do it if they want to hide their body without knowing it. These people don't fight with the white bones and skeletons. They leave as soon as they touch them. They take a bite when they get a chance. Over time, the damage to the white bones and skeletons is not a small number. Yi Tian controls Dun Tiansua and runs all the way. He is invincible. He is extremely upset in the White Bone Army. At a certain moment, Yi Tian's mind moved, and Dun Tiansua suddenly rushed to one side, and soon separated from the White Skeleton Army. Together with him, there are 170 puppets of martial spirit. After a period of fierce fighting, the best fairy jade in the puppet's body will be exhausted. Seven or eight miles away from the regiment, Yi Tian quickly replaced Xian Yu. After each replacement, these puppets immediately returned to the regiment. Yi Tian is changing the best fairy jade for the puppet. Dozens of miles away, some of the remaining disciples of the eight sex who had never been sent out said it. Qin Lang naturally saw this situation. He glanced at the flames and fierce swords far away from Yi Tian, pondered a little, waved his hand and said, Kill him, you can't let him change into Xian Yu smoothly. After that, the man flew to Yi Tian, and after him, the disciples of the eight sects swarmed away. To die. Yi Tian has known for a long time that Taiyaman is in collusion with Mingxiao in the ghost world, but the other seven main gates are not. Mingxiao suddenly intrudes into Tsongming world. Yi Tian has already guessed that it has something to do with Taiyaman, and the tacit cooperation between the other seven sects and Mingxiao must be the connection of Taiyaman. For this kind of clan which colludes with the natural enemies of the human race, Yi Tian's evil feeling rises again. With a loud drink, a black cloud came out of his sight in an instant, and quickly met the friars of the eight sections. Yi Tian didn't arrange these iron line ants to fight against the skeleton, just to guard against the disciples of the eight sections. Withdraw. Seeing that Yi Tian's 10,000 spirit insects still have the power of World War I, Qin Lang's face changed, turned around in the air and left in a hurry. Yi Tian didn't let the Tysian ants go up to kill him. He thought that the Tysian ants spread quickly, covered a large area, and flew to the Ming Xiao camp. Like other monsters, the battle effectiveness of Clematis is not long-lasting, especially in the face of so many dark repairs. It is certain that these Clematis will withdraw from the battle before the battle is over. Now in a scuffle, it's a good time to use the Tysian ant while the secret repair is not on guard. Each of these ants, for a skeleton, flashed in from the black hole in his eye socket, gnawing at the soul of Mingxiao. They don't want to kill those meditations quickly, but they want to disturb and torture them, make them devastated, greatly reduce their combat effectiveness, and don't want to fight for a long time. More than 100 soul puppets were soon replaced and joined the regiment again. Yi Tian takes a look at the eight sect monks who have fled far away. He urges them to escape from Tiansua and rush to the army of Mingxiao again. Mingxiao had learned the power of Dun Tiansua. He dodged a little in the direction of his flying, and countless bone spears and bone knives shot at Dun Tiansua like raindrops. Dun Tiansua's shield is a kind of aura gathering power shield, which can resist the attack of the monks in the divine realm, but it can't be broken forever. One attack reduces the power once. When the power's replenishment speed is lower than its consumption speed, the shield will be broken. This kind of shield can't be broken in a short time by three or five monks of Yuanying realm, let alone the monks of Jindan realm. However, if there are many monks in Jindan realm to a certain extent, it should not be mentioned. This attack was like a storm. There were thousands of them in all directions. Rao was the shield of Dun Tiansua, 
and could not withstand the simultaneous attack of thousands of white bones and skeletons. All sides are bone gun bone knife, is Yi Tian want to dodge, also can't do. At this time, Yi Tian suddenly closed the shield, and then a shadow flew out of Dun Tiansua to cover the shield that was opened again. The shadow was square and square. It was quickly enlarged out of Dun Tiansua, and it was quickly enlarged to the size of more than ten acres in front of countless bone artifacts. Boom! Boom! The gunshot of Bone Dao Bone stabbed at the shadow and was immediately bounced away. Countless pieces of bone objects rebounded in all directions. Instead, they bombarded the white skeletons, which fell to the ground one by one. After dissolving this round of dangerous attack, Yi Tian's finger moves and hits on the big seal magic weapon which has been fused with one yuan of heavy water. The magic weapon suddenly flies to the distance and then lands. All the white bones and skeletons in the area of more than ten mu were smashed below, and even the ground full of thick white bones was smashed into a square pit by the extremely heavy seal magic weapon. Then the magic seal flew up again, made a roaring sound, and fell into the distance again. Another ten mu area of Mingxia was smashed to pieces. After two bombardments, more than three hundred white bones and skeletons were killed by the Yin magic weapon. Unfortunately, you can't use your mana too many times. Otherwise, it's really a trump card. Yi Tian screams a pity in his heart, and arouses the seal magic weapon again. He estimates that with his current magic power, he can smash the seal magic weapon more than 30 times at most, and then the magic power will be exhausted. In the past, he didn't use the big seal to smash people, but only to enlarge and shrink, compressing the space to enlarge the magic weapon cave. Yi Tian felt that using this extremely heavy magic weapon consumed too much magic power. In the realm of cultivation at that time, the royal envoy's magic weapon, which was as heavy as a mountain, was a bit too reluctant. Today, it is the first time that he used this magic weapon against the enemy. At this time, it's not the time to cherish the magic power. Yi Tian Dun and Tiansua are flying away among the monks and hitting the meditation. When they meet the dense meditation, the big seal magic weapon will be smashed. After more than ten times of this, there were still many white bones and skeletons in the underworld army, but suddenly they retreated like the tide. There are countless skeletons and bones left, which add a few more thicknesses to the land. Yi Tian was stunned. Although there were many deaths and injuries, they still had an absolute advantage in quantity. Is that it? Standing on Dun Tiansua, Yi Tian received the seal magic weapon, opened his mind, and felt in all directions. At this time, a burst of cheers broke out after the fourteen magic weapon caves, and thousands of monks roared at the same time, and their voices rang through the world. There was no abnormality in the area covered by Yi Tian's divine thoughts, but outside the boundary of Songming, I don't know when the battle between the friars and Yupu was over. The king of barbarians and eight strong barbarians were floating in the sky, and their eyes were looking this way. The friars of the eight sects and the twenty small sects are also based on one place, and their eyes are focused on their own position. Those tall white skeletons also gathered together, two pure white flames, jumping in the dark bird's nest, as if two sharp eyes. After a look at the number of people, they are still the great monks in Yupu realm, but whether they are injured or not is not what Yi Tai and Shenian can sense. Be rather baffling. Yi Tian doesn't pay attention to the white skeleton that is retreating like the tide. Dun Tiansua draws a white light and flies to the magic cave. After this row of caves, the white bones are almost flat with the magic weapon cave, and there are many monster corpses on it. Such a pile of bones is more than 30 feet long, and red blood can be seen everywhere. How about the casualties? Yi Tian looked around the monks and asked. Barbarians have no casualties. Naji, with a big stick, said in a gruff voice. There are no casualties in Duanjin Villa. Three people fell from the Iron Sword Gate. Two people fell from Yun Luo Mountain. Each sect reported the number of people who died in the war at one time, and the 27 small sects together killed and injured 58 disciples. This number is far lower than Yi Tian's estimate. However, Yi Tian's heart is still a little heavy. Thank you for your help when Yi Tian's heart is heavy and his face is dignified, someone suddenly says something out loud. This sound is like a domino, forming a chain reaction. More and more people repeat this sentence. Thank you for your help at the end of the day, 
all of them gave thanks with one voice. In this war, there were many dead and injured skeletons. Originally, when the disciples of the 27 sect saw such a large number of skeletons, they thought they would be doomed this time. However, under Yitian's efforts to turn the tide, he repulsed the white skeleton army at such a small price. In particular, Yitian spent most of his time killing the enemy within a few miles of the magic weapon cave, greatly cutting off the swarming of white bones and skeletons. So that the friars of the 27 sects don't have to be surrounded by several times their own skeletons. Yi Tian's love for their maintenance can be seen. It's a pity that those monsters in front of us all died in the hands of white bones and skeletons. Don't thank you. Everyone has to adjust their interest. The retreat of the Ming army is baffling. I'm afraid it's not necessarily a good thing. Ready to fight again Yi Tian glanced at the white skeleton army that had retreated far away, and said in a deep voice. After that, regardless of whether the monks obeyed their orders or not, they put away the 14 magic weapon caves and drove Dun Tiansua out of the cave for tens of miles. Then, with a gesture, the time and space tower appeared out of thin air and quickly enlarged in the air and fell on the bones. The next moment, he entered the time tower without hesitation. He took out a martial spirit puppet that didn't bear the brand of soul and began to recognize the master quickly. In this war, although those martial spirit puppets consumed the best fairy jade a little fast, their role can't be ignored. In front of the monks in Jindanjing, the martial spirit puppets are indeed invincible. Without these 170 martial spirit puppets, I'm afraid the 27 monks in the small clan would suffer more casualties. The first martial spirit puppet had just finished his sole impression. Yi Tian put the martial spirit puppet away. At any time, with a gesture, two Shumi commandments appear in their hands and throw forward. This action seems to be a little puzzling but the shumi ring is thrown in the air, the straight-throwing arc suddenly stopped, it seems to be taken in the hand. You go into the magic cave and mark the spirit of the monsters in it as soon as possible. Yi Tian said, body together, out of the magic cave. Behind him, I do not know when has entered the magic weapon cave of the two invisible golden elixir peak dead, then followed out. To the tower, Yi Tian gesture move, two magic weapon cave was released. The dead who got the ring of spirit beast didn't have any nonsense. They went directly into the magic cave. Then more than 60 of the dead who went to the space-time tower for stealth protection followed them. There are more than 60 spirit beast rings obtained by Yi Tian, in which there are a large number of monsters. It's really impossible for him to recognize the lord himself in a short time. Now in the Tsongming world, I don't know how the situation will evolve. Yi Tian can only play a collective role. You follow me into the tower. The next moment, he whispered to the six most powerful souls, then turned back to the time tower. The six invisible dead men, after entering, flashed back to normal. These martial spirit puppets, you try to make the impression of soul. Yi Tian took a look at them and said a word. With a wave of his hand, six puppets flew to them. The six dead men at the top of the golden elixir agreed. According to Yi Tian's suggestion, they began to get familiar with the structure of the ghostless puppet, and began to mobilize the spirit brand to recognize the lord. Yi Tian is not idle, he also took out a soul puppet to continue to recognize the lord. When Yi Tian finished recognizing the master of the martial spirit puppet, none of the six killers in the golden elixir realm had finished, but they were meticulously imprinted, just a little slower. Seeing that Yi Tian is faster than them, they can't help but look surprised and look unnatural. You know, Yi Tian is just a monk in Longmen realm. They have already reached the peak of the Golden Elixir realm. Because they have been practicing in the Magic Cave for a long time and taking pills, they spend too much time practicing than Yi Tian. Under such excellent conditions, they were not as powerful as Yi Tian's idea. Naturally, they were a little ashamed. To recognize the Lord with peace of mind, this time you all performed very well, exceeding Ye's expectation. Yi Tian then took out a ghost puppet and gave a voice of encouragement. This time, all the disciples and those brought from the spiritual realm of the great wilderness performed very well. They made a lot of achievements in the battle of exterminating, killing, and meditating. In particular, they are very flexible in fighting and never act recklessly. They give full play to the advantages of occult killing and protect themselves. 
Although they killed a lot of enemies, none of them was injured. Because of this, Yi Tiankai dared to use them with confidence. When Yi Tian and the six dead men were busy, Qin Luoshan and Er watched curiously at the corner of the time and space tower. Then they took a look at each other for two days, and they all saw each other's thoughts. Then, without distraction, he continued to enter the cultivation state. Obviously, their current cultivation can't help Yi Tian, and they don't even have the qualification to fight with Yi Tian. They all know that this is Yi Tian's protection for them, but it's really bad in their heart. I want to be strong. The voice grew stronger and stronger in their hearts. Although the speed of the six dead men slowed down a little, one of them finally took the lead in completing the imprint of divine thoughts, and then the other five also completed the recognition of the Lord one after another. Yi Tian, with a loose look, once again sent the six puppets to them and continued to brand them. In this intense brand, as time goes by, more and more martial spirit puppets complete the brand of divine thoughts. Yi Tian's action suddenly froze when he saw that there were only a dozen of more than 150 unlinked puppets. In the picture sent back by Liang Xingkong, chaos begins again outside the boundary of Tsangming. A dozen tall white bones and skeletons appeared out of thin air outside the boundary of Tsangming. As soon as they appeared, countless white shadows rushed into the boundary of Tsangming. Yi Tian can easily judge that those tall white bones and skeletons have brought a lot of spiritual cultivation with storage and bone attachment. The ten tall white bones and skeletons were all releasing the Ming Xiao they had brought to Tsang Ming world. However, the Man King, seeing this situation, suddenly passed by. The ancestors of the 27 small clans were also startled. They came in a flash and joined the battle group to stop the skeleton from throwing the skeleton army into the Tsang Ming kingdom. Similarly, the Great Friar of Yupijing and the Eight Sects also moved, and the Shadow Flash to help the White Skeleton fight. However, the dozen tall white bones and skeletons did not care how fierce their fight was, and they alone threw the meditation into the Tsangming world. More than a dozen white shadows flickered into the world of Tsangming and connected with each other. It looked like the Milky Way was leaning, and a large white light flickered ceaselessly. Those were countless bones. When the white light condenses in the boundary of Tsangming, it is a white army. The barbarians are a little slow. Up to now, Yi Tian hasn't seen the barbarian reinforcements, but he feels a little surprised. Speed up! Those who entered the Tsangming world just lined up there, waiting for the follow-up to be put in. They didn't act immediately. Leaf Day also temporarily ignore them, Urge, continue to make the Soul Reed brand. I hope that before the other party's large-scale attack, I can bend and recognize the remaining Yuaning Realm's martial spirit puppets. The brand of soul thoughts continued, and the situation outside the boundary of Tsangming changed again. In the Great War, ripples suddenly appeared in the sky, and then eight tall barbarians came out. Wang. We're here. We've been delayed for some time. The people are too scattered. One of them was the strong man who left here before. As soon as he appeared, he said in a rude voice. Send to Tsangming kingdom and rescue the prince. Man Wang smashed back a tall white skeleton with a big stick in his hand and yelled. The eight barbarian strongmen agreed almost at the same time, and their bodies disappeared from the original place. When they reappeared, they had reached the edge of Tsangming boundary hundreds of miles away. Eight people gestured at the same time, and eight rough magic cave appeared in the air. My people have come to support us. Sensing the barbarian warriors pouring out of the eight magic weapon caves outside the boundary of Songming, Najiak, who was mingled with the friars, cheered loudly with his big stick. The next moment, he rose into the air and flew to the entrance of the barbarian warriors with seven other barbarian youths. In the time and space tower, seeing this scene, Yi Tian's face shows the color of pondering. The development of things is more and more beyond his control. It seems that there is an invisible force that is making it more and more chaotic. The various forces of time and spiritual realm gather here, and it seems that a bigger storm is brewing. In order to enter the world of Tsangming, the friars of the human race are fighting for Tsangming orders, but what is the purpose of the spiritual cultivation in the ghost world? What is the ultimate purpose of the collusion between Ghost Kingdom and Taiman? Is there something in the Tsangming world that Mingxiu wanted very much? If so, is this kind of thing Pluto Flower, or Sol Yuan, or neither, but something else? 
he doesn't know. While imprinting the spirit of the puppet, Yi Tian's eyes suddenly coagulate again. Through the view of Liang Xingkong, he could see a white light surging in the sky far away from the boundary of Tsangming, as if the boundless tide was surging towards the boundary of Tsangming. Mending. It's all meditation. Hundreds of thousands? Millions? You can't see the edge at a glance, you can only see the front, you can't see the back, Yi Tian can't guess how many of those surging meditation are. In front of those meditations, there were countless human friars, who were far away from the Tsangming world and watched the war through divine thoughts. They come from different regions and belong to different forces, among which there are even a large number of scattered cultivation, and the realm of each other is also different. But without exception, they all fled in front of the boundless army of Ming Xiao. In front of this vast and turbulent army of the underworld, any monk who was swallowed into it will not be able to turn over a wave, and there will be no bones left. There are so many mysteries. Soon half of the sky was covered, and the army was still pouring out from behind. Even the idea that Yi Tian covered thousands of miles did not see the end of the army. Is it that all the hell practitioners in the ghost kingdom are out? Such a lineup, Yi Tian has been unable to imagine, what will happen next? There's the last ghost puppet. He put away one of the puppets that had been branded, and he took out another one to continue to brand. At this time, he put more attention on the outside of Tsangming world. The great friars of Yupujing who had been fighting earth shaking had stopped fighting, and the strong men of their respective camps gathered together, looking at the approaching white bone army. In front of the army, tens of thousands of people's friars were running frantically. Some of them were better than others. Some of them were faster than the others. They bypassed the Tsangming boundary and flew away in the distance. Such people are basically monks who transform the divine realm. They dare not enter the Tsangming realm at all. The monks of Yuanyingjing, however, seem to be a little slower than the great army of the underworld. They also reluctantly followed the figure of the monks of Washingjing in front and wanted to get rid of the great army of the underworld by bypassing Tsangming kingdom. Under Yuanying, the speed is much slower. Although they do their best and the speed is remarkable, the tide of the underworld army behind them is getting closer and closer. These friars had no time to make a detour, and they could not turn back to resist the underworld army. Like ducks, they were driven into the Tsangming kingdom. Of course, these monks are faster, and some of them are slower. They are quickly engulfed by the army of the underworld. Even the speed of the army of the underworld is not a bit slower. This is not only no background, no background monk sorrow. No one can take care of them. Those disciples who belong to the eight sects or even the twenty-seven sects outside the boundary of Sangming, some of whom are not high level, were brought into the magic cave by their ancestors. However, after the magic cave was full, some of the disciples who failed to fit in the high-level spiritual realm and Yuanying realm had already fled far away and left here. When the Ming army came, there were only the monks of Yupu realm of various forces outside Sangming. These great friars of Yupu realm also flew into the sky and looked coldly at the actions of the Ming Xiao army. They didn't act rashly. It seemed that these people didn't know what happened. In the world of Sangming, Yi Tian finally completed the sole idea brand of the last martial spirit puppet. With a gesture, he put away the martial spirit puppet, and with a flick of his finger, dozens of white lights flew to the six dead men in front of him, the martial spirit puppets consumed the best fairy jade seriously they pay attention to their situation at any time. Once the speed slows down, they should replace the best fairy jade in time, otherwise they will become a pile of waste. The six dead men took over the best fairy jade, and when Yi Tian finished, they all nodded. At this time, there was chaos in Sangming. Yi Tian took a look at Qin Luo God and Yi Er in the cultivation, waved his hand, took six dead men out of the time and space tower, and put the tower into Shumi commandment. In front of the magic cave, all the sixty dead men who recognized the master for the fourth level monster have been completed. The fourth level monster is equivalent to the martial spirit puppet in Yuan Yingjing, so the process of recognizing the master is much simpler. It takes very little time, so although the number of level four monsters is far more than that of the spirit puppets, they are the first to complete the task. These people are invisible, and there is no breath in their body. On the surface, there is nothing in front of the magic cave, 
but only Yi Tian can see their existence. Follow me. Yi Tian gathered up the two magic weapon caves, sent out a message, drove Dun Tiansua to the gathering place of 27 sect disciples, followed by a group of hidden pedestrians. Follow me. Yi Tian flew over the heads of many friars. Without stopping, he drank loudly and fled to the front. Many friars smell speech, without a trace of hesitation, all drive Dunlight to follow Yi Tian. The direction they went to was exactly where the barbarian warriors came from. Nearly 10,000 barbarian warriors came into Tsongming Kingdom to meet Prince Najiak, a little more than 27 sect disciples. After the meeting between the barbarian reinforcements and Najiak, countless white bones and skeletons rushed towards them. I don't know how many times more than the number of barbarian warriors. Under the leadership of Najiak, nearly 10,000 barbarian warriors are coming to join Etian. The boundless white bones and skeletons in the back then chased and killed like a tide. They didn't stop until they reached their goal. In such a situation, with thousands of troops, Yi Tian seems to be back to the time when he fought with the underworld in the wilderness of the spiritual realm. It's a pity that at that time, many of them were wearing flesh and bones, but here they were all white bones and skeletons, and their own masks were useless. It's just that he's a little strange. Ordinary white bones and skeletons can't stay outside for too long, otherwise their strength will be greatly reduced. In the Tsongming world, the skeleton did not seem to be affected. Is there anything strange in the Tsongming world? This is what Yi Tian has never thought about. Brother Yi Tian, all the barbarian warriors are at your disposal. Seeing that Dun Tiansua was coming, Najiak took the lead and cried out in a loud voice like a broken gong. All right, get out of the way. Yi Tianchen said that Dun Tiansua had already passed over the heads of many barbarian warriors. Najiak waved his hand twice. Many barbarian warriors went to the left and right of the 27 sect and joined the team to meet the enemy. Boom! In the face of the numerous white bones and skeletons, a large black shadow fell heavily, and all the white bones and skeletons in the area of more than 10 acres were smashed on the ground by the magic weapon seal. Yi Tianchen read it, pinched it with one hand, and hit it with a magic power. He saw that the black seal soared into the air, which had become the size of a fist in a flash. Then the shadow flew up again, changed into the size of more than 10 mu, and hit the dense skeleton again. At the same time, four kinds of terror flames mixed in cost source spirit fire surged out, turned into MU size, burned to the other side of the white skeleton, suddenly there became a sea of fire. The magic seal was smashed twice in a row, and Yi Tian's gesture was smashed four times in a row. Then he received the magic seal and drove Dun Tiansua to the white skeleton army.